Hello and welcome to Dice Friends. This and everything we do is brought to you by you and your kind support of our Patreon at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. And this episode of By Law and Order is also brought to you by Dragon Shield. You can check out their selection of board game sleeves, companion folios, and other great tabletop gaming accessories at dragonshield.com. And if you're looking to run your own Ravnica adventures, this is a great time to mention our affiliate link with DriveThruRPG. You can go to lrr.cc slash DriveThruRPG, and anything you buy, such as your own Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica, helps us out. Thank you, and enjoy the show. One of the reasons The Omen Hiker's Guide to the Multiverse has rapidly advanced up whatever passes for a bestseller chart on several different planes, aside from its substantial marketing budget, is its renowned Advice for New Travelers section, which sets itself apart from its competitors by being playfully rendered as a traditional Kamigawan edu comic that tells the tales of Papuko and Pipimi's misadventures on their first trip through an omen path. Due to the length of Ravnica's entry later on, the plane only shows up in a single panel, uh, where Popoko and Pipimi are shown holding their noses and looking distressed, warning people not to mention the smell. This is good advice because most Ravnikans honestly don't realize that the entire plane smells the way it does, and it's not really worth trying to convince them otherwise. The smell, which, which of course is utterly unique to Ravnica and therefore completely indescribable to anyone who can perceive it, has been likened from everything from wet cardboard to black mold, and it is ever-present, but it has at least been mitigated to varying degrees of success by what seems to be an innate Ravnican predilection for building ever more unhinged water management systems. The worst smelling areas are usually the parts of the city that at first glance seem to look an awful lot like swamps, but are still considered part of the city proper due, due to taxation reasons. These parts, which are thankfully very rare, are considered even by Ravnikans to have a bit of a smell, and should be avoided at all costs. When we last left our party, they were trying to figure out who had killed local entrepreneur Hyrobrian Spazbaum, and hopefully also discovering how and why they had killed him while they were at it. So far this has meant our investigators have deftly wielded breadsticks, taken lengthy detours to question dogs and learn about Crovod anatomy, and most recently managed to find the time to dispatch a wraith that had been troubling the local Orzov prelate, an act he will surely appreciate and repay to you at a convenient time. But with both of the victim's children suspecting each other and the vital land lease paperwork that would allow his contentious estate to be settled now missing, and a surely upstanding Namir reporter unwilling to offer any more assistance until you tell her something she doesn't already know, our heroes need to review the facts and to figure out if they, in fact, know anything. Questioning my existence currently. I don't know if I know anything. Same, did we get but more for chemical reasons? Did we get anything out of the catacombs other than a beating? Uh I discovered that I'm allergic to ghost cats. I I, I brought back the five hundred Xenos. We pocketed some collars. Oh that's true. We got money. Mm -hmm. Dollar doll does anybody know like a fence who deals in cat couture? Sure. <laughs> Thanks, Avenir. And knock hands all, all, ever, all the earnings. Oh, oh I, okay. <laughs> That's, yeah. Thanks, Avenir. I've got a good feeling about this. <laughs> he has been covering all our meals so far. That's true. Uh, we'll we'll get a report back from you, I guess. Great, yeah. yeah. Let yeah, us know how the fencing goes. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll add my per diem. Um, <laughs> Or subtract my per diem. So the documents were gone. Yeah. Right? Man, that's a bummer. Yeah. Any clues as to where they could have gone? Not that we saw in there. 
This seems kind of it seems like a little bit of a dead end. Yeah, and I'm assuming whoever would have wanted to steal them probably didn't bust in ahead of us, or could have, and somehow trucked with the wraith <laughs> instead of trucked the, the wraith. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we're supposed to find out a little bit more information regarding the uh, the suspects themselves. Yeah. I um I suppose the Golgari uh swamp ball team is still all locked up in the federal slam. Yeah, they're in the slammer. <laughs> um, we may either want to question them or clear them. Yeah. Probably sucks being in there. Uh especially considering that I really don't think they had anything to do with it. Definitely didn't. Definitely, 100% wouldn't be them. Why do you say that? You know, they're just some good Golgari kids out there playing the game the way it's supposed to be played, you know? Just they keep their feet on the ground in the muck. Back check, four check, pay check. Damn right, man. Yeah. Damn right. Slot goes <laughs> up high. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Either that or one of them did kill him, but, like, I don't feel that they just did it for fun. I just want to know why the scent of apples seems to be everywhere. In season. Mm. Well, to the slammer. Let's figure out what we're actually going to ask them first. That's a good question. And call. like what our strategy is going to be. Do we interview each one of them independently? Mm. What questions do we ask them? What information are we hoping to get out of them? Did you kill them? Yeah. If not, do you know who did? And if you don't, has anyone been acting strangely? Yeah. Or, like, I mean, they did stand to benefit. Three he was days. standing in the way of their arena being built. Mm -hmm. Three and days in the slammer should make them pretty interested in giving people up. Um, but what's our strat? Hmm. What about... I mean, they're they're a team. They're probably going to not sell one another out. They're probably... Out of curiosity, I'm going to assume Swamp Ball is a game that you can't play with much explicit communication between players. It's it's pretty tough. I mean, you kind of get the vibes. Yeah, I'm of... assuming that the, the, the team play is pretty vibes-based. Yeah, you kind of... You start to understand, like, oh, they're drowning without them actually looking like they're drowning. You know? And that's pretty key. So, they're probably not... They will probably trust one another. Yeah. You know, they're a team. You, you leave that locker room as one. You come back to that locker room as one. And, you know, sometimes you play some real heads down, uh, deep in the muck swamp ball. Sometimes you need that communication, that communicado between all your teammates, you know? But I would hazard that when you're playing sports, you got a sense of, you know, competitiveness to you. And there might be something that we could play on. I'm sure they're competitive with one another. Maybe one's been getting, you know, one's riding the bench a little bit more than than usual. Maybe maybe a star player that's getting a little bit more play time or, or, or face time with the with the press than the others. Maybe that's an angle we could use. Well, like, what's the end goal here? We want to find out who killed Herobian. We want that that might be an easy question to answer. Mm -hmm. I think the better question is why. And, like, to what end? Um, although, if we want to just give our bosses the easy answer, we could probably come up with that pretty quickly. Um, so, I think if we think that they did it, or they, we think they know who did it, and we put them in, we put them in jail, so I hope that, you know, we, we, we did that in good faith. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's time to play a little game of bad cop, regular cop. Ah, yeah. Wait, what's the difference? One of them lies. Oh, yeah, okay. But we could not. Um, <laughs> look, we, 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 we want to get info out of them, right, one way or another. Um, and I want to know if they know who killed him, 
that would be nice if one of them was just like, oh, yeah, that person did it. Mm-hmm. That would be great to know. It would be more interesting to know who did it. I mean, they're kids, right? Like, it's probably easy to get them to say one way or the other. Don't need to push them too hard. Don't forget mm-hmm. I can literally read minds. That's pretty cool. That's pretty good, actually. I didn't actually you know, know that was a thing you could do. Read thoughts? Detect them, at least. Oh, yeah? Like Twice per day? Three per day? Thrice per day! Oh, do me. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's pretty good. That's a great yeah, prove idea. Yeah, prove it. Do it. I kind of, I kind of want to see it. <laughs> sure. Look, the, I, I, that's great. Um, we can use that. We should probably only use it if we know where we're going to be mm-hmm. using it instead of just like brute forcing through the entire team right. over the course of two weeks. Yeah. I mean, you can get a sense for an entire group's That's thoughts. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. It, especially if they're just sur- surface thoughts. As, as the DM, I'll allow it, but I will add complications. Yeah, that's what I'm expecting. Like, I, f- I figure if, if we can go in there... Can and, we do a bulk sort? Yeah, just imply enough that mm-hmm. we get the right person scared if mm-hmm. they're there. Oh, you could definitely do a bulk sort. Yeah, just we like... We gotta scare them. Well, I mean, get them all into a room. Mm-hmm. You're like, hey, we're, we're investigating this murder, uh, and we'll be conducting interviews with each of you individually. Uh, but first, you know, mm-hmm. this is what's going on. And then if any of them are like, oh, no, they're going to find me, then we just like, yeah. Yep. It, how how quickly can you focus in on one person? Mm-hmm. Can you focus in on one person? I think I can. It's probably That would probably be uh, worthy of a role, though, at that point. I mean, we should probably know that before we go in. Yes. <laughs> you should test it out. I mean, we could like how many? How many of them are there? Twenty? No, uh, you know what? In the in this, for the sake of everyone's uh, sanity, remember at last time we said swamp ball teams have fifteen members aside, mm-hmm. and they were able to round up twelve of the fifteen on short notice for your smell test. I think right. that's the number I gave you. And of that, seven smelled like apple grease, and all those kids got hauled off to jail. Okay, but I'm because I don't want to deal with that many people. Three of them have been released due to the fact that they have airtight alibis okay and could not have been involved yeah. all right so we have four suspects left so that yeah. seems doable yeah I yeah. Like the, yeah seeing here i can shift my uh I, I, if there's four people i can shift my uh focus at, as an action which outside of combat is what Pretty five consistent. seconds five seconds yeah there we go yeah no problems <laughs> <laughs> all right so okay before, so you're, so the first place you'd like to go is Azorius Slam. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Enor, before you that's go. My, that's my before, order before. from Ravnikin Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> before we head off, can Do I you, just uh, take a second to check in on these mushrooms, see how they're doing? Yeah, absolutely. Please. Hey, Enor, how are the mushrooms? Well, some time has passed since the last time I looked at them, so presumably they have grown. They, I'm going to check this now. They do. They seem riper, and the caps, the small caps, have turned a light pink. Ooh. So these now look a little bit more like scarlet zoom caps that you have seen before. Mm. How are they growing so fast? They're mushrooms. This is not unusual. Oh. Have you seen this shit all? Yeah, that's <laughs> that's fair. Is it like step based? Do they get grow more and get it like advance into a further step based oh, on like how many like, steps you take? I thought you meant like a tiered gardening system. No, <laughs> no this it's, is it's time day, day by day. Okay. All right. So, Ian, would you like to eat any of your mushrooms? I will not today. <laughs> I mean, I do write out the things that they do. I. I feel like if we're going to go and use my mind powers <laughs> yeah. to go, st- yeah, to like we, use some people of a, of a I mean, we could, could I, all of us could microdose. I right? mean, this was ninety percent of the plot to Disco Elysium. Um, <laughs> all right, he, he said he wanted to do drugs, and so I've given him so many opportunities <laughs> is, to do drugs. Is there? You can do them. Well. Is there anywhere nearby that would have like some kind of fruit juice that we could pick up? Uh, yeah, you're in the Undercity, so there's going to be like a corner store like a couple blocks from here. Great. I mean, we could, if we get some juice and some like snacks just in case, <laughs> like we could try these to see how it would affect, you know, the muscle, right? Oh, that and me, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, the dog too. I'm, <laughs> you know, 
I do a lot of things. <laughs> I, bring, I, I bring Valencia to a lot of questionable dog owner situations. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to give my dog magic mushrooms. You know what? That's really responsible, <laughs> dude. You know what? I am I am responsible, but not that responsible. Yes, I will take a small amount. Okay. Ian, good news. You get a bonus of plus one to any perception checks. Okay. Ooh. They upset your stomach because they are still not ripe, mm-hmm. but they are riper and so therefore far less toxic than the last one. So Great. while your stomach is upset and will bother you, you no longer get a minus one penalty to con saves. Thank goodness. And yeah, I, I, I was sensing that comma. When engaged in conversation, you must roll a DC 12 concentration check or you'll be distracted by the pleasant and faintly visible waves the sound is making as it travels through the air. <laughs> <laughs> DC 12, you say? It's not very high. <laughs> well, let's go determine which of these children killed someone. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> I feel like I'm bullying you into <laughs> Uh, you guys ever look through your hands? <laughs> All right. Okay. So, I mean, now, you, we keep saying, I keep referring it to as Azoria Slam. Hey, but, hey, that's <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> neat. Yeah, I'm kind of into this. <laughs> You're onto something, you know? That's how I see all the time. Well, that seems, I mean, like it'd be an impediment to your normal day-to-day activities. No, it's not so bad if you flip them upside down. Oh, you kind of look like an owl. Yeah, yeah, it just gets the, you know... Avenir screams. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Avenir, where are you going? All right, so you go across town, you get on the subway, this takes you like 20 minutes, and you get to the 6th District Azorius Middling Security Detention Facility. Hmm. Uh, An Azorius law mage checks you in, reviews the agency badge, looks kind of weirdly at the paperwork that you have, saying all of you are technically seconded to the agency from your other gills for the purposes of the investigation. That's not something he's seen before. Check the badge. Oh, he checks it. He sends a little, like, he, 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 it's a, he calls for somebody, somebody comes in, takes your paperwork, leaves, and then comes back, and it takes a very long time to get in. You used to work for these people. I know. <laughs> what, were th- what were we thinking? <laughs> I don't know. After a while. <laughs> no offense, Avenir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After a while, it kind of comes back, and they de- and, and they uh, they they return all the paperwork, and they apologize to you for taking so long. Uh, and uh, then they uh, let you all in, and they say, "Boy, those kids have had a lot of visitors today." Oh, who? Mm, uh, yeah. All right. Well. You can see that four members of the Swamp Ball team are still here in the cells. The other three have been released. You've got a pre- sneak preview of some box text. Uh, so you have... Well, who, who were the go? visitors? All That's right. I think what we were oh, asking. who's the visitors? Yeah. All right, well, this is somebody that uh, Slock's probably going to recognize at a distance. Whoa. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god. No freaking way, Is that dude. Columbo? It's Columbo. <laughs> oh. Do I have time to run back to my place to grab something from Design? Is he still here? Uh yeah, no, he's here. He's talking to the kids. Oh my god. Wait, I, what's he doing working on this? I didn't even know he was real. <laughs> Is he? Uh, t- isn't this our job to be working on this? Oh. Do we take the mushrooms? Is this a hallucination? <laughs> no, no, he's no. there. He's okay. there. Uh, what happened uh, was, and you'll just find out once you go talk to him. Uh, he's been hired by the erstwhile the erstwhile order of Grudy in Swarm Hall Seventeen, uh, which is you might remember from the last time you were in the Undercity, is the uh, the community center in Mazgaz where all of these kids who are in jail played for the local swamp ball team. So he has been hired by the community association to get the kids out of jail hmm. because they don't a hundred percent maybe trust the Azorius process here. Mm-hmm. You know, it says it's under control of a neutral agency, <laughs> but uh, you know. So anyhow, you have four kids who are still in jail if you would like to talk to them. You have Pova, who you've met before. Mm-hmm. She was at the gala. And then you have three who were not invited uh, for, I don't know, no no probable reasons uh, other than the fact that they're not nearly as marketable looking. This is... Uh, oh, this I don't is, know about ooh, that. Garana. This is BC. 
And this is Zosil. Slock, I assume you know all of these people, right? Oh, for sure. All right, what do you know about uh, what do you know about them? They seem very cool, right? They're very cool. Uh, Garana can just uh, like let, let, I, you get into a conversation with Garana about the smallest thing, and then you start questioning why you're here, man. Like you just start, you know, it's it's big. It's more than just swamp ball, is what starts happening. And you you didn't take his mushrooms, right? <laughs> well, when I last talked to Garana, I may have taken his mushrooms, oh. but a different mushroom. I okay. still don't know if you sold me mushrooms back then. We'll, we'll unravel this at some point. Well, we wouldn't want to deprive Kapitza Dirac's uh, next year's graduating class of Bachelor of <laughs> Commerce students. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is BC. What do you know about BC? She can handle my domini. Uh, she'll kick your ass. She'll kick my ass. One of the best drowners you'll ever see. <laughs> Just, right. I mean, if you need someone to be unable to collect air while underwater, <laughs> you call BC. Mm, good at drowning, you say. What? Top oh. notch in a sports setting. Mm, interesting. In a, interesting. I mean, it's a different game. Yeah. Drowning for pleasure and drowning for you know the the, the sport. <laughs> <laughs> the not pleasure. Okay, yeah. So he's not really listening to your conversation, but he's like very observant. So Crolumbo says, "Be careful what you say in one of these places, son." And then, <laughs> <laughs> anyhow, you were telling me about BC and how. Uh, she's great at drowning people, but only in a sports and non-incriminating manner. Yes, yes, <laughs> right, yes, yeah. Very clear. You gotta be very clear. We are dealing with a drowning case. <laughs> uh, true, but you know, it's like a marks. If you're talking about like a championship marksman competitor, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you don't assume that they're the one that picked off somebody necessarily. I would if it was a very good shot. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, here's the last guy. This is Zosil. What do you know about Zosil? You know... Does he play the drums? <laughs> he does. He plays... Actually, if I had to say one of my biggest... Compl I don't have beef with many people, but my biggest complaint about Zosil uh, is we tried to start a band a long time ago, Bad Greens, mm. and he <laughs> played too many drums. You couldn't hear anything. Oh, like you could take over. Well, I don't even know if it was like an ego thing at the time. It's just every time we were trying to get something going, and we're like, how do we all feel? Everybody was on the same page except Zosil. Dude just would not shut the hell up about these goddamn drums. Wait, just are they so more let me drums. get this straight. You had a drummer yeah. who had his own drum kit. Yeah. Well, it, was it wasn't his drum kit. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> wasn't his drum kit. Importantly, wasn't his drum oh, kit. Okay. 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 So he's mainly looking for a ride. Also, I don't think if he was good, he just hit like I think he prescribed to the if you do a lot of something, people might think it's good. So he just hit a lot of drums. Do you have uh -huh. a genre that you could describe this failed band that you're gonna start with him? Po post mortem punk. Ooh. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, we tried to play uh, to the skeletal audience. Punk mostly. with a little bit of funk. Yeah, just the right amount of funk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's who those people are. So yeah, but anyhow, they're, they're the 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 independent detective hired to bust these kids out of jail uh, comes and talks to you guys and says, "Ah, the official investigative crew is nice to meet you. This is a bad Columbo impression, and I apologize no. ahead of time. As, some, as somebody who does this accent all the time, you're doing great. All right, all right, That's all right. okay, Kathleen. <laughs> you're doing great. I'm doing my best. Mm -hmm. Ah, and I, I had no idea that the infamous Columbo was also working on this case. Yeah, yeah, I got hired by the I got hired by the community association where these kids. Uh, all grew up and used to go to and uh, used to play swamp ball. These are good kids. They had nothing to do with it. They just happened to smell like apple swamp ball grease, which is not something that's that unusual, as seen by how many kids smelled like apple swamp ball grease. Don't you agree? Uh, I agree that apple swamp ball grease seems to be a, a disturbingly uh, regular thing that people use. 
um, more more than I thought. Uh, that being said, these ones don't have uh, alibis, from my understanding. And uh, when questioned with several things impertinent to the case, they couldn't seem to remember. Specifically, Pova. Now, I think Pova seems great. But we've got a plan of attack here. Crelumbo, it was very, very nice, I assume, to meet you and whatnot. You can... You could watch what we're doing if you want to provide some insight because let it be clear let it be clear we are not trying to put these kids in jail necessarily we're trying to find the correct person mm, and the correct person just happened to be conveniently a member of the Golgari swarm oh Preach. oh i see i see i see this is an internal conflict this is uh this this is the thing that you're accusing us of which is just going with the easy route. You're going with the easy defense. Yeah, because it's happened a lot before, mm. and it you and it usually happens when something inconvenient happens. Yeah, well, like um, you know, the half the plane <laughs> getting uh, destroyed. <clears throat> <laughs> what do you want me to do about that? <laughs> Stand back. Let us do our job. All right. Avenue has got a plan. Okay, uh, so you're you're by the way. So imagine if you will, if you played Persona, you can like get like cards that represent your relationships with people just ima just imagine that crolumbo card turning upside Wait. down wheeler <laughs> no no miss mr crolumbo uh, detective lieutenant crolumbo uh, just one more thing before you go can i get you can i get can i get your autograph please of course, i'm a big fan i'm a big fan yeah he likes yeah 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 he's not gonna be as mean to you he's like what are you doing working with these people I got rent to pay. I've got debt. Uh, and honestly, I thought I could, you know, I was inspired by you. I The job was in front of me. I was asked to fulfill my duty. And uh, I thought, yeah, I've read enough Columbo <laughs> stories. I could maybe do this. And you're doing a great job, Slock. Oh, Jesus. You could hear that? <laughs> uh, I got really big ears. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, thank you. Yeah. You coming? Just make sure you find the truth, son. And he gives you a pat on the arm. He goes, oh, you're a hefty boy. Yes, sir. Hefty, sir. And then, then he tick, 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 tick down, the, down the hallway. He's a detective. You're a detective right, right. now. <laughs> you're, you're goddamn right. <laughs> All right. Uh, so now you can talk to uh, these uh, these youths, but just so you know that the the people would like them out of jail, and it would probably make I would say collectively the city more at ease if they were out of jail. That's what we're hoping to be able to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Become heroes. Yeah. Yeah. To be clear, we're not here to, you know make sure that these kids done did it. We're here to make sure they didn't do it because we don't want them to have done it. All right. Who do you want to talk to first? Well, I thought we were going to gather them all. Oh, and all together. together. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I can't, I don't think I can put all of their, na all of their arts up That's... at different, like at the same time. So we'll just say they're all gathered together here. This is what they look like. Uh, and you can uh, uh, do whatever you wish to do and then just ask them a, a question as a group, but just be clear who you're wanting to talk to. Um, all right. Uh, I guess, you know, we get them all at a table. I'll come in. I'll sit down. I'll take out a notebook. Are we going one by one kind of a thing? or like uh, Who wants to come in with, with me? You? Enor, do yeah. you just want to observe? I'm just going to sit in the corner. Yeah. Okay. Nog will come, but he'll like, you'll let, you're going to do the talking. Okay, so you're rikering over a chair. Yeah. And is Valencia there too? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so she's just, like, laying on the floor beside you, chilling. Mm -hmm. All right, Enor, how are you observing? Uh, corner of the room in a chair, looking like a stenographer without a stenographer. It's keyboard. So you're just sitting there emptily staring at them. Yeah. Eyes Wonderful. the size of dinner plates. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Avenir, they, you, you're all sitting them down behind a table. You're opposite the table. Slock, mm -hmm. where are you? Slock is standing behind Avenir, uh, ready to try and soften any blows <laughs> That could, you know. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to be the good cop. You're the here. good cop. Okay, 
And you're going to stand and loom over them. Yeah, I'm, the slock is incidentally menacing. Okay. No matter what. Okay, but, cool. Just yeah. checking. So they're being sat down by a very high rank, like a fairly high ranking member of the Azoria Senate. They're being observed by two other random people because they're not necessarily going to be clued into what the agency is. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a giant dog in here and there's going to be a huge dude looming over them. But at the but they do kind of know all you. So do you like yeah. give them like a little like... And before we go in, Enor, uh, mind take. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll ask them a few questions. I'll see if I can get them to think of the murder. Um, and we'll conclude the interview after a few minutes. And then you can tell me. We'll leave the room and you can tell me. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Go in, sit down, take out a notebook um, and say, uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, they, good morning, good morning. Have you been treated well? Yeah. yeah. My name's Avenir. I'm just here to ask you a few questions. We're hoping that we'll be able to release you all today. E uh, Enor, make me a checking the vibe check. I don't know, like, how do you want to, like... Like, what are you, is this a brain thing or a vibe? This thing? is like a this is like detect thoughts to see if he can like how that's working. You can learn the surface thoughts yeah. of the creature. If you probe deeper, the target must make a wisdom saving throw. So like how based on like actually I guess I don't need you to make a check for that, mm -hmm. but you do need to make a concentration check to see if you can pay attention to this. Oh God, the tummy grumbles. All right. Uh, hold on. Lost this concentration. We keep eating the mushrooms. <laughs> it's just like a theremin playing she, in the background. Yeah. She, Kath, Kathleen bamboozled you <laughs> into eating the thing. It might be gonna... useful later. <laughs> Taking, as Terrence McKenna called, a heroic dose of yeah. five dried grams. I'm going to say that's a nine, so that does not... Uh... Okay, you're having trouble paying attention, but I'm going to say even if, you're, if you've cast it and you're trying to detect surface thoughts, when he says get released, hope... Mm -hmm. We're going to describe it as wonderful waves of marshmallowy pink hope. It springs yep. eternal. That, that, this is essentially what I'm. We're, I was planning. Okay, but if you want to do anything else, where mm -hmm. uh, the target will make a wisdom saving throw against it. Yeah, I'll let you know if I'm going to target anyone. Okay. That being said, um, the reason you are all being held in custody is that there is reasonable suspicion about your, um, about your your. Uh, involvement in this crime so we'll be Bluey, green unimpressedness okay. radiates out from them we hope to just be able to clear you all with a quick one-on-one -on -one interview but i wanted you all in the room first um before going on uh is there anything you want to say no, looks, <laughs> say the, uh, and Pova goes, no. Okay. Um, do you know why you're being held? Yeah, because you think that we did it. And, and the other three kind of, mm hmm yep. It being? Murdering some guy. Right, specifically the murder of the man who was uh, standing in the way of the construction of the... Uh, Swamp Ball Stadium. Hey, man. I don't even know who that guy is. I still couldn't pick him out of a lineup because no one told me anything about him other than the fact that he's dead. Ah, well, maybe I can clear that up for you. Herobian Spuzzbaum was a local entrepreneur who was involved in the production or who was, whose business was responsible for the production of a product called After Sausage, which I understand is something that the kids think is hilarious. Um, <laughs> the, the youths. Uh, uh, a, a little blue Twitter of it is kind of funny uh, comes out of the kids, but mm -hmm. mostly from the three and not from Pova. Hmm. Um, Mr. Spuzzbaum was found murdered uh, at the outlet of a drainage pipe that led back to his factory where he was, uh, well, he was drowned, beaten, and drugged and at the scene we found uh swamp ball grease apple scented swamp ball grease which i believe you all use or have access to uh so 
at the moment at the mention of being drugged there's like a little yellow pop of i'm describing this in weird ways because you're hot <clears throat> by the way <laughs> of of interest because mm. they because you know they're youths in a story I came up with. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> uh, and then when the whole like apple swamp ball grease things, you could just feel like black fear, just like a claw. Mm. Anyone in particular? Yeah, All of them. Oh. Do you, uh, do you want to try to dig deeper? Yeah. Yeah. I think. Dig. Deeper, deeper, deeper. Yeah, as we as as we as we go along, I'm going to uh, as of the next question. I think probe each one in turn. Okay. So do you so do you so do you want to make a uh, do you want to just go down the line and like interrogate that feeling essentially from That's them? Basically, it, yeah. All right. So they're all going to have to make a wisdom save. All right. Uh, I think Pova is going to be fine on hers, and then, but you're going to, but you get from her. I use apple swamp ball grease. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, she's. I will also point out that this is like you know a 19 year old kid maybe, mm -hmm. and it's like we found something you use at a crime scene. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's not indicative of guilt, but she is thinking, but I use apple swamp ball grease. Mm. So take, interpret that as you will. Oh, all right. Oh shit, I've definitely borrowed apple swamp ball grease. Oh, I don't, oh no. What? Anyone could have gotten my grease. We, we let it out to everyone. Like, it's just like, you just toss those around. It's like chapstick. It just disappears. Oh. <laughs> oh, like, like, they, like they lose it. Yep. <laughs> Do not share your chapstick, kids. <clears throat> that doesn't mean anything. All right. Um, so... What we would like to do is conduct individual interviews with all of you to go over your whereabouts and uh, otherwise try to clear you. They're all terrified. Okay. Um, well, we'll be speaking with you again very soon. That does not, that's, that does not have a reassuring <laughs> And all going me. well, hopefully you can get home this afternoon. Hope, but muted. You're doing great. When you <laughs> when you point at them and say you're doing great, yeah. you knock over your you knock over someone's mic stand. But no, they they take a little reassurance from that. You're doing great. So like, huh? the the it turns a little purple inside them. All right. So who do you want? To, so Povo. Sure. Go in line, or do you want to do the three that are all together? <laughs> because um, one of them seems more interesting than the others. Let's let um. Well, we'll leave the room. Yeah. Go and speak to Enor. What'd you get, dude? Absolutely useless. Oh. They're all kids. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Nothing. Just. <laughs> they're all frightened. Right. And how about the thoughts? <laughs> they're all frightened. Mm. That's it. Frightened. Because they don't, presumably they don't want to go to prison. That's understandable. Mm -hmm. I would be frightened too. Um, but frightened because it's plausible that they could go to prison or frightened because they don't deserve to? Uh, they're all kids. Assumingly they have trouble forming thoughts. So everything is very uh, mm, disarrayed and unspecific. Mm, puberty. Is Enor just sheened with sweat? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how. Maybe. Uh, all right. So I could describe it to you in colors, but that would be incredibly unhelpful. <laughs> You're doing great, buddy. In the end, if any of them were actually guilty of something, they'd clearly be thinking about it. But all of them are just weird and freaked out about being in jail. I like that. Out of all the alternatives, I like that the most. Um, well, let's move in alphabetical order then. BC? 
Sure, let's do BC first. So your spell last technically a detect thoughts is a one minute spell. Yep. But I'm going to say that you can, if these are very quick conversations and you're only talking to them, you could probably get through two on one charge. If you're like in and out. We gotta like speed date it. Or you don't have to use it. I was just gonna ask, do you think we, do you think we need it at this point? I think we've gotten everything out of it we can, to be honest. Yeah. I'm I'm not convinced that I think this is going to be a pro forma thing at this point yeah. and we'll just probably like ask some questions and unless there's something extremely weird um yeah. probably ask for them to be released unless there's something wrong with my spell yeah if, if there was something to be got we would have got it <laughs> all right that means you don't need to pay attention to anything that's happening here Ian perfect <laughs> You get he goes to be... and drinks a pitcher of water. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you get to go be high somewhere else. <laughs> I'll still stay in the corner. Oh, okay. Oh, sweating. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good intimidation yeah, tactic. He doesn't doesn't drink a pitcher. He takes like a vase with flowers <laughs> and pulls out the flowers and drinks that. So this is BC. Uh, bring them into the interview room. Sit down. I assume same layout of people. Proceed. Hi. Uh, your name is BC, for the record? Yeah. How do you spell that? B-I-C-I-E. Thank you. Um, we're here to just ask you a few questions. Mm-hmm. Did you kill Herobian Spuzzbomb? No. I don't even know who that is. Do you have an alibi for... Uh, Insert time of <laughs> yeah. time and day. Yeah, I was with Garana and Zosil. All right. What were you doing? Sleeping off a hangover. Is there anyone besides those two who could corroborate that story? No. Do you still have your apple scented uh, swamp ball grease? I have a three pack in my locker with two of them left in it. Do you, do you know what happened to the, th the third? I th think it might be in my dorm room, which I haven't been back to since I was arrested. Um, all right. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, bring in Garana. Sure. Bloop. Hi, uh, Garana, correct? Yep. Did you kill Herobian Spuzzbomb? I don't even know who that is, man. Do you have an alibi for the time of death? I wish I did, but I was with two other people who have been here arrested under suspicion of killing someone I don't know. Do you have your apple-scented swamp ball grease? Yeah, I've got some in my pocket here. It's like an absolutely nondescript tin. It looks very similar to the one that was pulled out of the... I open it. It's apple scented swamp all grease. Sure is. Hand it back to them. Thanks. Is there anyone who would be able to cor corroborate your story other than uh, BC and Zossel? No. Do you believe either of them would have killed him? No. Why? We don't... Why would we do it? We already told you that. She's gonna, like, be like... And all the Gorgon snakes are gonna go back, and it's just like... Whoa. That's pretty cool. Continue, Evan. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, send in Pova, please. Hi. Pova, for the record? Yes. Did you kill Herobian Spuzzbomb? No. Do you know who did? No. Do you have an alibi for the time of, for when he was murdered? I can tell you exactly what I was doing, but the police have told me repeatedly that's not a good enough alibi. Why don't you tell me? I was walking to that stupid gala. Do you remember the route you took? 
Yeah, and then she just describes like several city streets. Is that near where he was killed? No, it's coming from the opposite direction. Because she goes to Capizza Dirac and lives right. in dorms that are by Capizza Dirac. And you would have to walk sort of basically west to get there. And Herobian lives west of where the plaza was. Did I already ask her if she knew who did? Yes. Okay. Do you still have your apple scented swamp ball grease? I mean, I thought I had a can on me, but or a tin on me, but I, I did. Turned out I didn't, and I guess I dropped it somewhere or lent it out or something. I wasn't really paying attention, you know. And now everybody is saying I could go to jail. And you're sure you didn't stop anywhere? You, nobody saw you on your route. No, I just walked there. All right. Thank you very much. Thank were, you. Were they all held in separate, like, holding? Or were they all together? Uh, they could all be in, like, a dorm style together. Hmm. Hmm. Time I'm, to corroborate. I, you know. Am I missing something here? Like, is there any, any questions that I should be asking them? I've got one more gambit here that we might be able to work on here. But first, I want to know, is Herobian a well enough known public figure that he would be recognized, that his image would be recognized by just any random person on the street? Probably not. Okay, good. Is there a closet in this room or a second door? Or is it just one? No, it just it's a, it's an oh. interrogation room. They don't typically put other exits in them. Okay. <laughs> you just have them fall out of the. <laughs> I, what, I, what do you want, though? Like, uh, how can we make this work? What can I do for you? Uh, this 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 works out. Avenir, can you bring them back all in? For one, well, we more have question? one more. Yeah, after one you're on done, one. Then. Yeah. All right. Zossel, correct? Yep. Did you kill Herobian Spuzzbone? No. Do you know who did? No. Do you have an alibi? No, not really, because it's not been good enough to get me out of jail. I was with BC and Garana sleeping off a hangover. Hey, Slock, make me a hangover check. Make me a I am a cool person check. DC 12. Ah, I think it's insulting that we're not all rolling like this. <laughs> well, make me I used to hang out with these people check. Uh, what do you want me to roll? Basically, just like make me a perception check on what he's tell on what you think he means when he says he's sleeping off a hangover. I rolled a thirteen. He was probably super stoned. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, somebody was like drugs. <laughs> Avenir, if I may. Mm -hmm. Sasso, what's the deal with all the drums, man? You just don't appreciate it, man. Oh man, there's too much. No, I tell you, this is this is a this is the technique that's gonna bring us to great success. We are gonna make it. We are gonna be big. Just you wait, my friend. Oh, just man. you wait. We are never gonna be big, man, with all those drums, man. No, no, absolutely oh, not. God. This mm -mm. is yours. Bring them all back in. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you. We'll be. Thank you very much. Mm. Thank you. We just have a, f a f few more questions for the group of you, if you could all come in back inside. All right. So are you going to be using your mind magic on them again? A couple things here. Okay. First of all, uh, yes, cast detect thoughts. All right. And have a quick scanning between people back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so you need to concentrate. And just before I do that, I cast. In response, oh. if you would. <laughs> on the other side of the door. Silent image, creating an image of Herobian Spuzzbottom. Oh, because you know what he looks like. Yes. You've seen his ghost. Yep, I you can, know. You can conjure that exactly. And so I, and, uh, if I'd like to uh, introduce you to uh, Herobian Spuzzbottom. Open the door, and I'd like to see who out of that group recognizes him. Nobody. Mm. That's pretty cool. Nope. That, was, that was pretty cool. Thank you very much, everyone. Hey, cool trick. Yep. Po Pova claps, but it's mostly just because she's nervous. Because <laughs> <laughs> everyone else is doing it. Yeah, she's like, ah, who is that guy? All right, well, thank you. That'll be all. I think we can safely clear these kids. Yeah, th I mean, like, I would just say, I don't, I don't think there's enough here to hold them yeah. even i hey, don't look. i don't think they did it you yeah. never forget the face of the person you kill 
I would imagine you know. But hey, look, we just did you hear a Columbo's job in the uh, span of 10 minutes. You got... I mean, he warmed them up for us, mm. you know? Like, we did good, but, you know, he also did good, right? He actually told them to be as, to tell you as little as possible. He actually, he told them to not say anything that, that could be taken uh, as an incriminating statement. Wow. A detective and a natural-born leader. <laughs> well, we are 0 for 2 right now on, uh, on checking out things. Where, where, where to next? I would like to go to the construction site, interview both the engineer and the architect to figure out what is special about the uh, after sausage factory mm. and maybe why there are so many earthquakes. Is there anything unusual going on here? Why didn't they just move the stadium over? <laughs> oh, all of these questions and more will be answered. All right. Quick. To our good public transit system. You head back to the second precinct and uh, and find yourself back at Volkspur Square. And then you arrive at the construction site for the 6th District Memorial Swamp Ball Stadium, or as it's more commonly known, the failed uh, Jetvara Reclamation Zone, or, it's, or as it's most commonly known, the Overbog. Big hole. Well, it's not, it's I... not a big hole yet. Oh, okay. It is future site of big yeah. hole. Future site of big hole. <laughs> It'll be a big hole when I'm done with it. <laughs> it is called the overbog because while most bogs, mires, and environments that most be, would commonly you be described using the word sluice are around in Ravnica, most of them have the decency to be located underground in Golgari territory, uh, as having been domed in and covered up with much more respectable land thousands of years ago. The Overbog, however, has resisted all such efforts to do so. Even the Izzet League's most powerful vacuum pump, the hypersonic hydro desiccator Mark V, failed to drain this bog, and that last attempt in the year 6324, overseen by the legendary Draco genius Niv Mizzet himself. Wow. This was back before he was too busy to do field work. Uh, that also failed. Even so, the 6th District Chamber of Commerce at the time was going to put up a commemorative plaque marking Niv Mizzet's attempt, uh, but they were quickly deterred after he threatened to immolate them and their entire bloodlines. Mm. As you all know, because you're from the 6th District, most people around here treat it like an ingrown hair on their boss's chin. <laughs> 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 look at it but not too much yeah yeah you basically try to ignore it because it is actually truly unpleasant mm. the ground is exceptionally soggy and sticky except where it's suddenly and without warning a sinkhole some of which are said to be hundreds of meters deep and the vibes are bad and it's not just because this is definitely where local organized crime syndicates have been dumping bodies for thousands <laughs> of years but that's definitely part of it it's just it's just feels bad around here nobody likes it and the smell can only be described as breathtaking huh mm. has it always been this bad yeah yeah this, this is just what it's like can't have a catacombs without skinning a few cats the, that said, the Overbog does have its defenders. For hundreds of years, the people who live next to it have been petitioning to have, his, have it designated as an official wildlife preserve because they've seen the kind of things that live there and they are keen for them not to be disturbed. Uh, and now, as more people have moved to the 6th District from outside the area, you're starting to hear these fancy 10th District-style phrases like extraordinary biodiversity and a miraculously untouched example of a natural Ravnican ecosystem being getting thrown around. <laughs> All that aside, it is deeply entrenched local knowledge that this sort of thing has been tried before, but at a less ambitious scale and by more competent people. So... Everyone truly expects this to be a boondoggle, and they're kind of like hoping it's going to be a good one. Mm. So, the ancient rusty fence advising people to stay out of the area is crumbling. Right. Uh, but the sign uh, in front of it announcing that this is the state, the future site of the Memorial Stadium, is new and only lightly graffitied. And a small handwritten sign has been taped to the bottom, and that one says, "Save the jet, the jet Vara Overbog meetings Tuesdays at 1 p.m. Kapitza Community Center." That's tomorrow if you wanted to go. Ooh. I want to write that down. Uh, and uh, make uh, nobody, I'm just going to tell you, uh, Kapitza, as in Kapitza Dirac University, mm -hmm. uh, is a wealthy neighborhood that 
part of backs onto the east side of the bog. Oh. Well, and they want to... They want to keep it as a wildlife preserve to keep mm. the wildlife inside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where else are they, gonna, are they going to store all of their shopping carts? There, well, and car batteries. Yeah. Oh, and electric scooters. Mattresses yes. and giant centipedes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a giant centipede mattress of savings <laughs> at the bog. Uh, all right, so, but you can, you, under official business, can go inside and you can enter the construction zone and you can go through the gate, which is the only well-maintained section of the entire fence surrounding this thing. Are we, are we at 100 that, like, there's construction workers in there that can ask our qu answer oh, questions yeah. and stuff? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, okay. absolutely. In fact, uh, I'm going to give you, because I love this, I'm going to give you a little map oh, boy. of oh. the area. So I assume that the bog is just like, the bottom kilometer are organized crime victims, followed by a dusting of like, or intermixed with lightly drunk lads uh, who thought this was going to be awesome. You know what? It's, it's the bog's never been well surveyed. Okay. People just try to ignore it. Hmm. Rather than stratum, I'm, I'm, I'm choosing to believe it's more of a, a particle diffusion of corpses. Mm. I, there's probably so many bodies in there. Uh, but like the, like basically, you guys can hang on to that. Uh, basically, the bog is not something that people have been excited to engage with previously because it smells awful. Mm. It is bad by the standards of Ravnica. Uh, then it is supposedly super dangerous. Mm. Uh, Slock, when you look at the bog, it looks like a bog that you are used to, but all the plants are wrong and there's too much light. Yeah. Looks like death. Yeah, it's weird. All right, so you enter the construction site through the gate, and uh, you are met very shortly by uh, a bored-looking goblin who is very young and clearly works for the uh, Is It League, and uh, she's going to ask you to sign in and sign several waivers. Mm. Uh, hello. Welcome to the construction site. Uh, we heard from the agency that you guys would be arrived. We've, we've got every everyone here is ready to talk to you. Uh, but uh, before you get on side, you have to wear a hard hat. And then she sort of gestures lazily to like a big table piled with safety equipment. And then she goes back to reading her book. Mm -hmm. Do they have ones of all sizes? Yes. Anyone who wants a hard hat can wear a hard hat. I, will. <gasps> I would like to... <laughs> we, we have safety, right? Look, safety look, first? If we're going to village people, one of us has to be not the construction <laughs> worker. <laughs> Unless we're all the construction worker. Mm, that's true. Hmm. Uh, yeah, Nog gets, uh, Nog gets, grabs one, pops it on his head, and uh, also finds one uh, large and or small enough to fit on Valencia's head right. and like, uh, attaches it with a little strap. The goblin who told you how to wear a hard hat's not wearing a hard hat, by the way. Mm. There's also tons of other like random stuff on this. There's uh, 12 inch squares marked with exclamation points, a danger warning, and the is it logo. There's some sort of yellow high vis necklace. There's a can of something with is it markings and a warning not to ingest it. Uh, and there's some sort of Simic branded contraption, which comes with three charges. Cool. I, should I, can I pick up the Simic thing? Yeah. And uh, be like, what's this? Uh. Cool. <laughs> I, just put, I put it in my pocket. All right. So high you're... vis tie for the high vis guy. Okay, Enor is going to have a high vis guy. You, everyone can take whatever they want. She's not checking. Are there any? I, I'll take the is it thing. Okay, with the, the can. You got so, the is it thing. I got wait, so, now there's okay, now okay. there's two is it things because it's an is it dig site. Yeah. Now, the, do you want the twelve inch square marked with an exclamation point or the can? I'll take the can, please. Okay, you can. Cans can. I'll take things. the twelve inch. Okay, one. you can take the twelve inch. You can also take multiple. So if two people want to have mm. a high vis thing, there's just piles of stuff S here. Uh, Sloth. Wait, I'm just, sorry, I just. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> That's Feather great. went killing it. As Did well. not oh even notice. <laughs> We're professionals, Ben. Uh, Slock is going to wear five high visibility vests <laughs> okay. and six hard hats on top of each other. Did you draw that featherweight? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, because it's optional what equipment you wish to take, uh, I was like, just put the hard hats on them because they're going to be told that's mandatory, even though it's kind of not. Great. Are there, there like high-vis necklaces? Yeah, Avenir loads up. 
Okay, so if you there's take a, one of everything? He, if there's an imaginary checklist <laughs> of gear that Avenir is supposed to be wearing, he fulfills that. Okay, so you take one of everything, Avenir. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. You look very cool. <laughs> I do. Thank you. <laughs> Safety is cool, Cameron. Yeah. Okay. I don't take anything besides the hard hat and okay. the Simic doohickey. Hey, Enor, what do you take uh, aside from the necktie? That's it. That's just the necktie and the helmet. Yep. Avenir is one of everything. Slock, you have five high vis mm-hmm. neckties. Do you want to take anything else? Uh, and six helmets. Six helmets. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to take any of the cans or exclamation points? Oh, and I have the 12-inch... Uh, you have a square? Yeah, I have the 12 inch. Is it square? Okay. Um, <laughs> what else is there? Uh, there's a can and a, some sort of Simic branded contraption that has three charges. I'll take two I'm... of the Simic brand. Wait, there's <laughs> multiple of these Simic thingies? Oh, yeah. I'll take two of the Simic oh. brand uh, charges. Okay. Um, and one of the capsules. This has all been paid for by his uh, His Excellency, the Living Guild Pact. Great. I, I'll. You know what? How how heavy are these Simic doohickeys? That square's kind of weighty. Oh, okay. But the can's not very heavy. Okay. I'll I'll take two of these Simic doohickeys then. Okay. We're gonna put you in the contraption, dog. What are they? <laughs> I need to know. Later. Later. <laughs> All right. So she sort of ignore has gone back to her book, uh, and and uh, the site. Now that you're all kitted out in your safety stuff, the site is your standard dry gravel raised construction situation. And I don't mean raised, I mean R-A-Z raised. Mm -hmm. Like everything here has been gone. Uh, But that part is not very big compared to the overall lot. There is a big hole in front of you. It's about 100 meters square. uh, And it's heavily reinforced with a rebar that's crackling with straining magical energy. And it goes down. It's like, think of it as as like a strip mine. And it goes down. And then you can see at the bottom, there's like murky water bubbling up. Mm -hmm. Uh, And uh, there's a bunch of pumps leading up out of it. And beside the hole, there's logging equipment, there's drills, there's concrete stuff, there's big stacks of rebar, there's pallets of all sorts of thingamabobbles and and machinery. But it all sits idle because these pumps are the only things running. Hmm. Uh, The pumps lead to a pump house, which is a a medium-sized building. And there's also uh, a site office, which is small, and that is fine because there's not that many people working right now. There's four things that you can do here. You can look in the bog. Mm-hmm. You can look at the hole. Oh. You can look at the site office and talk to Abrasax, and you can go to the pump station and you can talk to Monic Shot. Okay. Well, I assume we should probably go to the office first and like yeah. check in, kind of a thing. Let's uh, let's let's go talk to uh, Abrasax. All right. Be polite. All right, you, uh, Enor, make me a concentration check to pay attention to what's going to happen. Yep. <laughs> Natural 20. It'll, yeah, 11. All right, well, this... He has yet to pass the DC. I, I paid 12. I thought it was not hard. I'm even using my best stat for this. Oh, God. <sighs> All right, so this is Abrasax. He's, uh, he's a little bit stressed out. Yeah. Hey, I, Shaky. Uh, How's it going? Hi. I, I just, I just want to say sorry about the, the other day. That was super unprofessional. I just gotten out of a meeting right before going to that luncheon and it's a little stressful i've been there i've been there we're pretty stressed out too right now who are you meeting with uh gorev bruna of the chamber of commerce the people who are bankrolling this thing to the tune of 10 percent of the value what was the meeting about oh well uh, it's so uh, I was presenting a plan B design for the site that avoided the after sausage parcel. However, uh, that design is does cause a quite a bit of reduction in like size and ability and basically uh, uh, does not give us the ability to build uh, the uh, planned attached luxury casino hotel and spa facility. <laughs> What did so, Gorov say about that? Uh, he said that would not be a, uh, not be our first choice in sort of a very stern and terrifying way. What did he suggest? Oh, he suggested that we offer him more money again. 
and I explained that I had already offered him money, and, uh, and I was not going to meet with him again after he'd thrown a bottle of after sausage at my head. The horrible bastard. Hmm. So you were personally not on good terms with, uh, Herobian? No. Did, did Gorov have any other suggestions beyond offering him more money? Uh, he said that he would get that stadium built one way or the other, but not in like a murderous kind of way. He just said that one way or the other, we're going to get the stadium built because he's going to give in or he's eventually going to die of old age. Mm. Huh. <laughs> it's an interesting choice of words. Now I am threatening you, but not in, with murderous intent, right? <laughs> Do you want to see the plans for what the site's going to look like? Yes. Yes. Abersax will be happy to go over them with you. He'll say, I think this is a good plan. Uh, you know, there's, there's, uh, the, the stadium has to go there because the ground on the north side can't support the weight of the stadium, the attendees, and the Swamp Ball Aquadrome. So then we have the stadium nestled at the front where the entrance is, where most pe spectators are going to want to go in. Then we have the casino, spa, luxury hotel. We do have a strip of preserved green space to keep the eco people f happy. Uh, and then we've got the miniature golf course. Like, it's a win-win. I'm surprised you didn't turn the nature preserve into the mini golf course. Oh, they'd never get us, let us get away with that. That's too dangerous even for the is it. How, how long has this all, this, this production gone on for well, ever by this point? I mean, this is, this is a core. I, I only joined the project in the design phase once the funding was secured due to the, uh, the, the reconstruction fund coming from his excellence, the Living Guild Pact, of course. Uh, you know, but the Chamber of Commerce has been trying to get something done with this land for years that's been sort of uh, a project of theirs to, you know, get rid of this oh. and because it smells bad and no one likes it. Well, a few what? lunatics like it, but mostly no one likes it. <clears throat> Did you get the impression that... Okay, so is the after sausage uh, facilities in accessibility the only thing that is preventing construction? Well, no. What is, I mean, that, having that, obviously it hasn't started, like, hasn't stopped us starting work on the site, as you can see, we're, you know, but the issue is that the site is uh, proving to be um, resistant to uh, traditional and uh, experimental construction techniques. Well, I mean, this isn't the first time that this has been tried. Um, what makes you so confident that you will succeed where the Living Guild Pact failed? <laughs> But I guess I really have to, because if I wash out of the 6th District, where am I going to go after that? <laughs> so this is not your first choice of project? No, but this was supposed to, you know... This wasn't supposed to be this hard. <laughs> so, what is your strategy, then, that you feel that the Living Guild Pact overlooked? I, that's not my department. That's Monik shot Zip Spigot over from Prism. He thinks he's got some sort of thing worked out. I'm hmm. just here to design the stadium and try to work out how we can balance the load. I'm an architect, not an experimental hydro desiccator. Hmm. Hmm. Look, before all of this happened, there was the firm belief that eventually a number agreeable to all parties would be reached, especially with the Living Guild Pact financing the whole thing. Eventually, Spaza Bomb would get bought out. And then, when we heard he died, it was like, oh great! Now it just has to get divided by his conveniently two living children, which means that it'll probably just be sold and divided in half, as is the law. And then it was, there is the beautiful light of hope. Sometimes people describe it as a bit pink. Hmm. And then now, there's the despair, because apparently nothing ha is happening legally and they won't tell me why that's happening they just say there's a complication with settling it and so i've drawn up i've spent weeks drawing up an alternate site plan that just goes around the stupid thing and now i've been told to go back to the drawing board because it is not something that we can do we have to build it how it has to be because if we're not going to build a stadium of a decent size there's no point in doing it it still looks pretty big 
losing that lot would actually reduce the size of the stadium by about probably 25% when you have to fit to the other things in there. And it's going to reduce the size of everything else because that's the best part of the bog to build on. And so we had a, the plans to build the, the, the heaviest part of the stadium where the after sausage is. It's a matter of balancing the hydrological concerns is what I'm told. What happens if you have too many people standing on one side of the stadium? Oh, that's what counterweights are for. Hmm. After some explaining, you find out that if you can't build there, then you, the stadium has to be physically lower hmm. to spread the weight more, and you're losing spectators off the top. Okay. Right. This is why this is a troublesome patch of land. Do you think uh, Gorev's concerns are reasonable? What, what do you mean by his concerns? Well, do you think his demand that the after sausage uh, property be, or, or is, do you feel that the stadium could be built without the after sausage property? You could probably build the stadium without the after sausage property, but it would be difficult to build the attached casino. Well, you would come up with a plan B. Yes, and I did. All, but that was unprompted by Bruna. Well, yeah, I offered it to him. And he rejected it. He said, no, let's just keep working this angle. So we're not re- he, According to him, we're not ready to build yet anyhow, so we don't need to panic. Hmm. Was the casino and luxury hotel always a part of the plan? Yes, the, that part is being financed. The, the stadium is being financed by the, the cooperative of the Chamber of Commerce and the Living Guild Pack, but the casino and associated hotel is all Chamber of Commerce, as is the mini golf course. So if... It's going to be apple-themed, because they grow apples up in your mountains. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I keep spearing in this, uh, in this case. Apples? Apples. I, yeah. They're in season. And they're usually red. He's still seeing colors, right? <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, you know. Uh, <laughs> Fish! <laughs> Didn't we, uh, we were wondering about these earthquakes that have yeah. been happening uh, nearby. Any... As if on cue. <laughs> Do you know what's causing it? No. Do you... He looks nervously out the window of the thing, and he's waiting. All right, nothing came out after that one. Nothing came out. Go on. <laughs> oh, yeah, horrible things come out of the bog all the time. Oh, oh God, I hate working here. It smells, it smells so bad. And every day, the earthquakes and things coming out of the bog, and I, then I have to spend an hour hiding under my desk, and the whole area just feels bad, right, man? Oh, there's magic out there in the bog, and it makes your instruments go funny. I hate it here. I need you to elaborate on every clause of that statement. <laughs> yeah, there, there was a lot of important tidbits of information mm-hmm. that have not happened in this conversation so far. What kind of things come out of the bog? Creatures, monsters, ghosts. Wow, that's a wide variety. That's a mo- veritable monster mash. I, I'm, I'm a level one character. I hide under desk and do not engage. <laughs> yeah. what, where do they go? What happens to them? They usually come out, wander around here, and thankfully vanish back into the bog. But you don't want to get caught out with one of those things. Hmm. They're aggressive. Or has, weird. Or both. Any, have people been attacked by them? Oh, yeah. Killed? No. Just injured. Oh, that's, oh, any, that's bad. Anyone we could speak to? Yeah. Me. I got a gash down the leg from some sort of centipede thing. Now that's why I work in here. I don't need to be out there. I want a wall between me and whatever's going to come out there. Out of curiosity, how did that gash heal? Fine. Good. He shows you. It looks like, it definitely looks like it had some to make work put into it, which is pretty normal. How long have these uh, earthquakes been going on since you started the project? The whole time I've been here. Basically, as soon as we started digging and pumping. I wasn't here before we started digging and pumping, so I don't know if this is a normal thing. You guys know it's not a normal thing. Yeah. You know, don't normally hear a lot about earthquakes. Yeah. Um, and where does the pumped water go? It goes into the sluice way, into those big grates that oh, travel yeah. and go to yeah. become the Senza Under River eventually. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right. Is, okay. And otherwise, do you, 
actually, so, as architect, you wouldn't know if that's normally where water from the bog winds up. No, but there's somebody you can talk to who will. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Um, can you elaborate on the other things that you've seen come out of the bog? I don't even... It's, one of it looked like some sort of like see-through screaming thing. Like a phantasm? Kinda. Okay. This whole area's got weird vibes. Like... How weird. I mean, I think all of you can... I mean, all of you make me a perception check right now. Fifteen. Seventeen. Seventeen? We could have one on that, yeah. Oh. Sixteen. Sixteen? Uh... Nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah, the vibes are off. Hmm. Yeah, it's like... And it's not that it's and it's not that it's like looks like a bog, but it's like weirdly open, which okay. is contributing to it, right? And it's not that like y'all have heard that this is where bodies get dumped, mm -hmm. although that it's got a bit of a spooky feel to it, maybe because of that. It's just ugh. okay. Ugh. Doesn't make you feel happy. Hmm. Okay. Well. Um. If anything occurs to you, Abersax, uh, don't hesitate to contact us, please. Absolutely. Let's go see um, um, more shot. Yeah. Manic Mon shot? Monic shot. Monic shot. Monic shot, zip spigot. Yes. So you walk over to the pump station, and outside the pump station, it's incredibly loud because these pumps are just going. Uh, but you open up the pump station building, and you find that it's pretty small on the inside, but it is peaceful and quiet in there because th there is a magical noise cancellation field making anti-sound. It's some sort of is it device. And so Monarch shots is like nee, nee, nee. <laughs> and he's looking at math and he's like <sighs> and he's got like a you know some sort of is it plasma calculator and he's doing things and like, oh, that's weird. And he goes, ah hello welcome. So uh, Monarch shot is uh, working in his office and uh, the walls are covered in, hy in hydrological studies and you know, all sorts of stuff, and he's he's a much he's very different than Abersax, we'll say that. Seems to be in higher spirits. Yes. So just as you're so Monarch Shot, you can even see on the wall is his degree from Prism University, which is the oh. university in the tenth district. And you can see from his business cards there that uh, he is the is it league structural engineer in charge of site prep. Uh, on here, uh, as from the uh, is it from the Prism University Department of Organic Fluid Dynamics, financed by the Living Guild Pact, to be here cool. and fix this problem that they are having. Hey, how's it going? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. You seem to be in higher spirits than uh, the project manager. Oh, he's got no stomach for anything difficult. He thought he'd come in, build a beautiful stadium, and then swan off with an accolade. Hmm. Ah. We here at the Is It League are no strangers to overcoming adversity. And you've you've dealt with these uh, these beings coming out of the bog. Oh, I'm not worried about that. My concern is the hydrological one. That is the real problem, my friends. It's very interesting. I'm sure you're gonna tell us. Oh yes. So, anyhow. Here's the issue with site. And he points to some maps that have like all sorts of weird fancy figures on them. The stadium has to go where the warehouse is because the ground on the north side of the bog is much less dense and probably will not ever hold anything more than six stories of weight. And when you factor in the weight of the spectators and of the aquadrome that you play swamp ball in, it just can't, you will end up displacing fluid and the whole thing will sink. And that is a bad and unsafe thing to do. So you need to build over here and, which I honestly makes sense, the built up end of the bog here where you actually have factories and stuff like that is the best land in the area. So you want to build the stadium and he just goes into extreme detail and he's going to tell you all of that. 
So he'll, he'll tell you all about the site. But what's really, really interesting about this, blah, 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 is that there's an incredible amount of magical energy in the bog site itself. And it's quite an interesting challenge, is it? Because it sometimes makes my instruments come back with bogus readings. Uh, because I can't go out there myself, of course. What kind of readings? But they're just off. That you'll see on all my charts, there's annotations of the, they'll return readings that aren't mathematically possible whatsoever. What do you think the problem is? Well, first I thought it was that my, uh, my thopters were misreading, but I think there's interference somehow. Hmm. From something inside the bog? Could be. Could just be the massive amount of water that's there. It's truly breathtaking. It's very interesting. Where does the water go when you're done with it? Oh, we pump it out through the uh, the Jetvara sluice gates, and it uh, and uh, and it gets held, and then finally goes down into the under river. Unfortunately, due to the under uh, due to the uh, regulations on how much we can pump through the Senza under river, site extraction is going slower than intended. Something about not destroying some sort of park with flotsam. Is the bog refilling? Some have said that. Do you say that? Not yet. Not conclusively with science. Because uh, there may be a question that the bog is refilling. And I know that some people have said it's not going to work. But I'm sure. And then suddenly you can hear like, grandiose is it music playing. I'm sure that they said that to a Mona Plus Jack, who finally figured out a way to pave over an entire ocean. And I'm sure they said that to Slun, you relax, Blue Vlar, while he was trying to tear up lightning in a tube and then make it so mad it could push an entire train. And I know they said that to Culpability Brown before he finally determined how much plasma was safe to drink. Culpability. <laughs> how much plasma was safe to drink. Culpability Brown is good. Mm -hmm. So, thank you. If the bog, I'm not saying it is refilling. No, because that how would that be mathematically possible? There's only so much water in Ravnica. What could possibly be refilling it? Right. But are you able to get samples of what is, let's say, for the sake of uh, inquiry, refilling it? Yeah, it's water. And it's the same kind of water. Yeah that you would pump from anywhere else in the bog. It's fascinating. It's fascinating. The more you pump out, the more it comes back. It's incredible. This just sounds like we've created an infinite reservoir. Well, infinite infinity doesn't quite exist in like a physical sense. Like you can I don't get close know. to I've like a plasma twist. I mean, I've nah. turned on my tap at home and the water never stops coming out of it. Well, it's because it's coming from a, 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 a storage tank somewhere in your neighborhood yeah and is that's there, refilled from somewhere is there a way that we can get a sample that we would be able to get a sample of bog water bog water as well as like the bog water that is being pumped that should not be have there. have they been keeping samples oh, yeah. of the bog water oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. throughout yeah. The, of course. the stage of the project right. yeah he can show you binders and it's just gross dirty water hmm but uh, it's the same gross, dirty water. It's the same gross, okay, dirty okay. water. It just seems to have a never-ending supply of gross, dirty water. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, and he said, if you would like to get a sample, please go ahead. I, I'm not allowed to go into the bog due to the uh, sort of the Prism, uh, the Prism University insurance issue. Short-sighted anti-science pencil pushers. Uh, but the thopters can take measurements. But you, I encourage you to go in there. I'd love for you to tell me if you what you see. Do you know what's causing the earthquakes? Oh, yes, yes. Their Abrasax is so freaked out about them. Uh, they are extremely unusual because you shouldn't have any tectonic uh, uh, activity here because uh, the Izzet League, I believe, fused all the tectonic plates long ago to prevent that kind of thing happening. But uh, I think it's just a result of the water table shifting as we dry the bog so slowly, right? So I think it's just, you know, maybe there's like a bubble that bursts and a whole thing goes poop and then the whole site shakes. It's maybe one potential thing. Abersax said that things emerge from the bog after the earthquakes, though. Uh, yes, sometimes that happens. Do you think that that is explained by shifting water tables? I just deal with the water. I don't care. I don't know what lives above it and lives in it. Ah, engineers. <laughs> <laughs> Abersax is nothing. He's brilliant and focused hmm. on the one problem he has which is draining the bog hmm. what he makes... hasn't even been here for that long right uh 
So I understand that the bog has, uh, people have attempted to drain it in the past. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Have you studied those attempts? Yes, yes, yes. What do you feel their shortcomings were? Not doing it for long enough. Hmm. So do you think it's just a matter of endurance? Uh, I'm feeling that it's going to be endurance and maybe some theoretical hydro stuff that needs to be come up with. But, you know, I feel like we're going to get there. There's probably a whole... I could probably get some doctorate students down here if we're not done by next summer. So you think that you'll be able to stick to this timeline? Did surely as a Mona Plaza Jock has drained and uh, paved over all of the oceans and blah blah blah. And isn't League Engineer not thinking that th- thinking that they're not going to be able to do something ridiculous? Absolutely, he believes he can get this done. Hmm. Do the numbers reflect that you can get this done? Well, they don't. Yeah, it's because we're doing science on them. These numbers that you can't trust because of the magic. Well, we're, we are slowly working through the issues. I've only been here for a week and a half. Yeah, hmm. things look bad right now. <laughs> but every time one of those things shakes, I assume progress is being made. If you were to assume that your thopters and instruments were retaining, were returning correct data, what conclusions would you draw from that? That there's an awful lot of water on this site. Is that the only conclusion? Uh, that the ground has an unusual makeup and it doesn't seem to be evenly distributed. Meaning? That uh, some parts of the bog are perfectly safe and passable, but other parts are horrific, appear to be horrific caverns to hundreds of meters deep. Cool. Hmm. Flooded, of course. Presumably keeping the horrors inside until we drain the whole place and replace it with a casino. It'll be great. You know, it's starting to sound (laughs) like uh, (laughs) maybe we might have to uh, take a look inside this bog. Oh, well, go ahead. You don't work for Prism University. Do we need any kind of spelunking gear? Oh, no. We gave you all the safety gear uh, that you might need at the beginning in the site. And how? Yeah, here. <laughs> on that note, what do these do? And he like holds out the Simic thing. The which Simic thing? The three charge Simic. Yeah. This is auto heal spray. It's a potent mix of antibiotics, liquid, sp- liquid skin, blood, blood coagulators, and heavy duty painkillers. We got first aid spray. Nice. You nice. can't use that to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, the, great. The, is it can? Oh, that is, that's a can of magic missile. <laughs> Duke, oh. you can use that to stop someone from breathing. <laughs> okay, great. Cool. Uh, I, th- I think the only way we're going to get to this bottom of this mystery is if we go in the bog. I yeah. hate to agree with you. Um, in general? No, no, I don't <laughs> want to go in the bog. Can, can you show us on the map where some of these holes are? Oh, just anywhere in there. Oh, the other one. That one. Wait, show me the other one. Yeah, anywhere anywhere that's not labeled construction site is it, where some of those holes might be. Okay. Oh. Is there anywhere where you're getting particularly weird readings within you, the box? You know, sometimes the readings don't come back the same twice. So you go to recheck and they're different in a different way. So there's nowhere at it's all It's almost in like particular. it's bouncing off some sort of weird system or something. All right. We've uh, we got nowhere in particular we're supposed to go, and no 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 leads. But I got a good feeling about the bog. We gotta get to the bogdom of this. That's the first time anyone has ever said they've had a good feeling about this bog. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you get what you give, haven't you? Well, there we go. All right. Well, bogtimism. <laughs> Jeez. Bog champ. <laughs> oh, bog, dude. oh, bog, dude. I have passed out another map for you because I didn't want you to uh, be too destroyed. Uh, so there's not too much. There's not too much. There's stuff two there. directions on this. There one. are two directions. Mm-hmm. All right. Are you ready? This yeah, is where you get. Are. This is where you get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> so. Wait, where? <laughs> Up there? Uh, yeah, you yeah. got it instantly. So you leave the construction site, and you make your way into the bog. If you were from Victoria, you would think this looked a bit like Rithid's bog, but since you're not, you don't. 
The overbog <laughs> alternates between death zone. Real life. Life. Real life. Me also doesn't know what you're talking about. Oh. <laughs> Does anybody here know what Rithid's bog looks like? Yep. Okay. Uh, I mean, not no. Yeah. I mean, I know of Let's the bog. Let's go for a hike. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Right. No, 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 come back. <laughs> Let's resolve this, and then we'll go for a hike next week. That might be one of the most Kathleen kind of things I've witnessed, is you getting so excited about a hike to a bog. Just, oh. Oh. I like the idea that be, that Ian wanted to go to the on the bog hike at like 8 o'clock at night <laughs> in January. I, I, went out, I hiked around that bog while it was still snowy. The overbog alternates between dense, overgrown vegetation and a switch, Swiss cheese patchwork of regular ponds that spit, bubble, and hiss. Occasional copses of taller trees stand out amongst the brush and bogweed, implying that there are patches of more solid ground around here. There are obviously no paths marked here uh, and does not look heavily traveled, but there are more solid places. So, are you just going to walk right into the bog? Are there any, like torches or anything like that lighting up the bog at all it's daylight you don't need them oh great yeah it's like going for a walk on a cloudy wet day okay yeah, yeah. the air's very moist here was our intention to go in a hole or are we just surface bogging i think we're not trying to hole it up right away okay if we hole along the way then you know that's that's part of the fun i suppose see where the night takes us yeah yeah i mean i assume in order to go sub bogging we would need some kind of diving gear hmm. or a talented swimmer on your team i have an idea if we put uh i think valencia would have a good idea of like being able to kind of paw forward without running into like bog holes or anything like that could we put her up front and uh she she can use her aminal senses sure can valencia make me uh a Perception check. Well, natural my... twenty. Wow, <laughs> Valencia smelled something. <laughs> I had assumed that you would not put the dog in first. I. <laughs> well, I mean, you—the ball's in your court now, DM, yeah. because my dog is going in first, and they rolled a natural one. <gasps> Valencia, so normal and sure-footed, sniffs, paws. And go, mm-hmm. And then immediate did now did you give Valencia any of the safety equipment or just the She's hat? She's got the hard hat. And immediately falls through a gigantic sinkhole. Ah! Huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, has anybody got any rope or anything? Uh, I do, but it's in the dog. Uh, how 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 far has she gone? Uh, you can't see her anymore. What? Does, doesn't oh, she have no. a leash? <laughs> I can I, I can look. She, I thought this was an off leash park! Wait, take, I, Look in there. Tell me where she is. I have locate animals. Great. Yeah. Can I Perfect. locate her? She's about eight feet down. That's... I'm going to cast Mage Hand and yank her back up. Uh, I, don't think, uh, I don't think you Mage wouldn't Hand be strong did, enough. Did not, did not be she's better. a very big dog and she's Good underwater. Point. Eight feet down. Um, okay. Uh, 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 Does quick, anybody, what tie a... anything to get, tile the high vids together. The high vest. Yeah, you the got like vis. five high vis vests. The, they're not vests. They're collars. They're like necklaces. Oh, okay. Wait. I can speak with plants. <laughs> Are there any kind of uh, vines under, like, under the water that well, could help prop her? I and dive rip? into well, the sinkhole and try to yeah, drag okay. Valencia yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to say, yes, there are some vines at the bottom of the sinkhole. It's carnivorous gyre weed. I assume one of the people would go first. <laughs> I dive in after Valencia. Are you wearing one of those necklaces? Yes. As you go to dive in, it notices that you've touched water and immediately inflates and becomes, no! <laughs> and becomes a flotation device. I didn't take one. I jump in There's after just, my dog. Okay. There's just extremely loud swearing. <laughs> extremely loud and choke, maybe? Uh, Avenir dives in. His collar inflates. His head stays above the water while his body goes boring, and he is immediately unconscious, <laughs> just floating across. The top. I don't know if you're immediately unconscious, but it's certainly uh, you take uh, psychic damage from how awkward this looks. 
Okay, you're going to dive in. Yeah. You are in foul, dark water that goes over your head. Uh, you see that there are two carnivorous gyre weeds wrapped around Valencia, and they are trying to bite at her, and she's like, arr, 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 arr. Uh, if it helps, uh, as, a, as a ranger, I ignore difficult terrain and stuff like that. Am I able to kind of swim towards her? And yeah, try I'm going to and... say that you can swim towards her at your normal swimming speed. Cool. Uh, I and I, I have a. You're I, right there. Like she was like she was like boop boop boop, boop right. So yeah. like you kind of know where she went down, yeah. and she just kind of sunk, and then the gyro weed went and grabbed her. I have a I have a little uh, short uh, short sword. Can I like try and cut the vine? Absolutely. You are you are now in combat with this. Uh, make me an attack roll. <laughs> Jeez, do I need to roll initiative or anything? Yeah, we'll just say that they're already in initiative. You're joining the fray. Oh, sick. Okay. Uh, great. <laughs> I I got a twenty three to hit. Uh, that's definitely a hit. Wow. Uh, I got twelve. Twelve. Uh, good news. You bisect one of the gyre weed that's holding her. Okay. And then she is able to bite the other one, and she comes free, and then she can start swimming her way to the top. Great. Uh, I hold on, grab onto her because she's a much better swimmer than me. All right. Well, she she kind of looks at you and is like, oh, I'm running out of air here, buddy. And then kind of. Well, I can't lift you out. And then you're both like panting in the treading water yeah. in the water. <laughs> Evan, I'll help. Evan, Evan, you can pick yourself off from the construction site where you got both backs to and like pull them out. <laughs> I do that. <laughs> so you emerge wet and even stinkier than before because this water smells bad. It just the whole area smells bad. But now uh, you uh, you you kind of that has taught you a couple of things. Yeah. That those sinkholes are not messing around. Yep. Uh, that they're filled with awful things. Uh, and uh, that the moss that is slightly darker is the moss that's safe to step on. Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, both Valencia and I do like the, like, <laughs> and, like, shake it all, <laughs> like, all the stuff off of us. Yeah. Are you guys doing a lot of noise to do this whole thing? Probably. There's oh, quite probably. a bit of screaming. I mean, we were screaming when, when <laughs> Valencia went in the in the bog. Yeah. All right. Uh, everybody roll me a d6. Five. five. Does five, it count five, if it's one. out? Uh, okay. One. Noted. One. Five five one one noted. Now that you've done that, you've made the one check to find out where you could walk safely and yep. completely biffed it. Yep. Uh, you'd kind of know where it is. The path, as much as you could call a path of moss and undergrowth that seems slightly darker in some spots, winds very circuitously through this bog, and it'll sort of like allows you to pass around the sinkhole. So I've given you a map with sort of a wiggly line. That's quite a large area, but I haven't drawn every single random sinkhole that's mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. uh, so there might be some big ones, there might be some small ones, but just it's like scrubby brush that looks like it could be solid, but then you step into it and it's like, no, this plant's 15 feet tall, and you just go bloop, or it's a couple inches deep. We take it slow. All right, after about 30 feet, the path branches to the left, leading roughly in the direction of the After Sausage Warehouse, and to the right, which is not roughly in the direction of the After Sausage Warehouse. Left? Left. Left. All right. This path continues for about 10 feet and then seems to stop. Do you want to make any checks or anything yeah, like I that? Yeah, I would love to. I'm going to investigate the crap out of this. Uh, sure. 23. 15. Is it investigate? Yeah. Ooh. Or nature. Ooh. 25. Not falling into a hole. Uh, one. <laughs> I suppose, yeah, if it's nature, nine. Oh, if it's nature, then I got uh, uh, 19. Okay. Uh, everyone is fine except Sloth, who falls into a hole. No. <laughs> the whole thing happens again, including being grappled by gyreweed. But you but are good I, at swimming. I'm good at swimming. Well, and you grabbed like five of those necklaces. Oh, I, right. I have five of them on oh, me. Oh, my God. Do you know what happens? What? <laughs> the first one hits the water as you go, and then it goes, boom. 
And then the other ones are all try to get displaced, but then don't because you're wearing so many of them. And then you just kind of go. Do oh. you just become that like that like dude at the tube shack who had like all the tubes? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Except they're all around or like his a little neck. kid in a snowsuit. Yeah, yeah. 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 Bend so them. You, you may want to take yeah. off some of those and maybe give them to other people who don't have them at this point. Mm, no. Okay, you've got several. You've got one very puffy necklace now. There's no way to make these things deflate, by the way. Oh. Uh, now so you're wait. just wearing a, a life. So you're vest. you're basically like Maggie Simpson, like with the star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just kind of puff. I'm walking around, but I'm walking slowly. Yeah, yeah slowly. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you cautious. went in. You went in, and then you immediately sort of went, you got stopped, as the safety equipment is intended to do, and then you managed to get yourself back out and back mm-hmm. onto the path. Perfect. All right. I, I remove mine. <laughs> you remove yours. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to leave it, or do you want to just carry it with you? I'll, 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 I'll carry it with me, I suppose. Okay, mm. you can tuck it under your arm like it's a briefcase. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be fine. If I, it's if like I need carrying it again, a seat I'll put it on. <laughs> yeah. All right. So everybody has discovered what their th- most of the other things do. Um, does anybody have one of the... Who took one of those big weird squares with the warning and the danger symbols? Ooh. You two. I took yep. two of them. You took two of them. Great. Okay. How are you carrying all this? I'm very large. <laughs> I There's probably rules, but I don't care what they are. You can have as many things as you want. <laughs> Thank you. Sweet encumbrance it's doesn't matter. Nine. All right. It's cool. A- I have an apparatus of qualish. <laughs> <laughs> what does that do? It's kind of like a giant mecha, only it's made out of crabs and is sized for gnomes. Oh, I see. Uh... No. I, yeah. I can't believe the guild pack took that away from you. I know. I have a request for familiar. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the idea, though, that like you're basically like you went to like a convention or whatever, and mm-hmm. you're just like, you got a bunch of swag bags, yeah. Yeah. but it's just like the safety gear, like tote bags full of all this. I got, a, I got big pockets. <laughs> Not like metaphorically, you know, just no, large no, pockets. No, it's true. Technically, yeah. the larger you are, the bigger your pants, mm-hmm. therefore... The I, bigger the pocket. Exactly. Yeah, pocket scale is the square cube law. <laughs> Slock wears uh, a troll small. <laughs> so, But an elf extra, 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 extra yeah. large. Back pocket's big enough for an 8-inch yeah. floppy. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he shops at baby troll. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you, you, you high spirits aside after Slock accidentally falls in. You know, you sort of get back on the path and you continue around a little bit longer, moving slowly. <laughs> I mean, the SpongeBob foot noise. <laughs> and at the first real bend in that path, you know, you kind of come around a bend and you see what's a bit more of a clearing. It's actually like seems less gross here. And you see a patch of colorful mushrooms. Perfect. You know what? Are those bad mushrooms? We're going to find out. No, but you need to know in advance. I, I do. That's why well, we brought you. That, that's the thing. Oh. I should I should know what these are. My nature score is high. That's not a double entendre. Yeah. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Wait, well, hold on. It changed. It's <laughs> a good point. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm going to okay, okay, okay. <laughs> He's going down. The first time you did that killed Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to everybody. So based on based on the the number on the die, uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a thirteen. Okay. <laughs> if this is a thirteen, which I'm going to assume it is, then okay, these look kind of familiar to you. These look. You think these are probably purple swamp bluets? Yeah, they I are, say that. They are uh, well known to be pleasurable mushrooms to ingest. Mm. I, d- I mean, <laughs> X to doubt. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll pick a few of those for later. Anybody want to eat some now? Yes. Uh. Thank you. Sure, why not? Apparently, they're a pleasurable experience. Somebody's got to put them in my mouth, though. <laughs> yeah. Open wide! Uh, oh. Okay, so oh Enor, you I don't eat any? I got deal with airplane food. I still hunt another mushroom. You don't mix drugs like that. Okay, well, here's the thing. I did spec out what would happen <laughs> if you had eaten both. 
<laughs> and your and your drawback text was you become convinced you're a human na- man <laughs> named Brindo Deerman that you had once met. God, I love anime so much. <laughs> uh, you he had very dry skin, so now you have to make me one DC uh, fourteen. Uh, uh, sensibleness safe not to jump into the swamp but that doesn't happen to you because you don't eat both mushrooms That's good. whoever does eat both mushrooms however right. until your next long rest your ears begin to twitch if you're being watched your fingertips turn slightly purple and you will be able to uh jump 20 percent further than normal Ooh, even while i'm like this <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> You just throw yourself like a ninja star. I do. It, I'm like uh, Snorlax and Pokemon are on Smash Bros, where yeah. I just jump up like. Yeah, this and I cannot stress enough that somebody said that they wanted to do drugs at the beginning of this. So I have, I have specked out not only what various mushrooms do uh, for game effects, but also how they stack together. So amazing. My, sorry, my ears. Twitch. Every time if you every every time you're watched. When watched. Your okay. fingers are now slightly purple. Fingers and this purple. will be until your next long rest, and you are able to jump twenty percent further. You okay. will Is he aware of these? Specific yeah, you're gonna things? feel bouncy. <laughs> okay. You're both gonna feel quite bouncy. And if, like I said, if you're being watched, your ears will burn. I, I okay. want to be very clear. I'm not experimenting with drugs as Enor. I'm performing replication procedures. Mm. Does, do, I misread. Do these, what you, I misunderstood what you wanted. So, do these bonuses the carry way. over uh, if I use wild shape? Yes. Okay. Because you are still stoned. You're just in yes. a different shape. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I could theoretically be a giant centipede. Yeah, these are. I can catapult myself in the air. Correct. Okay. Great. Horrifying. Yeah. For all you know, you could be one right now. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. These aren't that kind of mushrooms. These are more just like I'm in for a fun night out dancing kind Slog. of mushrooms. Slog is just like I'm in a chrysalis of my own design. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, so these are fun. These are legitimately not sort of hallucinogenic, but they're mm. fun. Mm. You yeah. feel fun. I, I I appreciate the early warning system. <laughs> yeah, that comes built in. I'll have a couple. Speaking of, those of which, inventory. everyone, roll me a d six. Six. One. Three. Four. All right. You're being watched by something. Both of your ears burn. You notice it though. Oh. You are being. Something is tracking you guys as you move through the swamp. Oh, I can't. Can somebody scratch my? <laughs> can somebody uh, scratch my ears for me? I, uh, I guess I, I assume you relay this information. Um. Yeah. I. So I, I know that my ears twitching mean I'm being watched. Yes, okay. and you realize that you're being watched. So both of your ears would have twitched regardless that something was watching you, but you just because you had to hit, somebody had to roll a six to notice that they were right, being right. watched mm-hmm. by the fester leech that is tracking you through this. Oh, <laughs> so okay. it's just like twitching like it's the turn down for what video? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I, I think we're being followed. Yeah, this is, this is, this people take this and go dancing. So they notice when people want to dance with them and are interested in them. You get a twitchy ear and it means that you have a romantic connection awaiting you. Ooh. Except this there, is not in a good way. I think there's a leech that's into me. <laughs> Do we know the direction from from that? He will know the direction, and it's coming from sort of behind you, around you. Like, it's moving through what does not look like a place that you could move through, but for some reason, the centipede can move through it. Hmm. It just also lives here. It's not, like, spectral or anything. Mm. Okay. Yeah. All right, do you want to try and, like get it to come out so you can get it now that you know it's attacking you or just want to keep walking? No, I think this is a good enough time as ever to use speak with animals. Okay. To try and charm it out. Good call. Psst, 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 psst. Oh, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you come right here. now it's int is two. So it's just going to get like <laughs> and wind its way out of the swamp and come into the clearing with you. Oh God. It's a, it is a fester leech. Uh, it is a, I have described it as horrible creature. Uh, it's on one of those new murders at Markov manor cards. It's the one that's the things eating the bird. It's one of those things. Horrifying. <laughs> Ooze drips from its maw. Hey, what's up? 
<laughs> comes towards you and try to, to try and suck on you. Sorry, I can't hug right now. My arms are kind of stuck like this. So what favor are you going to ask it? Because it is hungry and you are alive. If you don't try to eat any of us right now, and in fact lead us to maybe a location with other things you'd want to eat, I'll make sure that you get one of these flotation devices. This thing's end is two. Are you trying the Stanford Marshmallow Experiment on a leech? <laughs> yeah. But this doesn't even work on human children. You, you want more food? Me being, me help yeah, you get yeah, more food. You look delish. I eat you food. No, me I no delish. I, I... Me not delish. Me no delish. Me know where There's, delish is. It, this thing has an intelligence of two. You cannot bargain with it. You could can try we, to scare it away. So, okay. so you can't. But you can't Nog, be like, hey, okay. let me show you something okay, else okay, over okay. here. Nog, Nog, uh, just passively can communicate with animals and okay. whatnot. Uh, but like, not not to the extent of like speak with animals, but understands what's kind of going on. Can I bite Wheeler and then keel over dead? Yes. I would like to do that. Absolutely. Cho tell me what, describe what happens. Okay. No, so Nog just sees like back and forth and seems like this, this is like. He can see Nog the leech going, getting, getting closer. Getting closer and closer and closer. Uh, Nog is just going to like run full tilt and go. Argh! And like latch into like the side of Wheeler's or, or of Slock's neck and go. Ha! Uh, 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 uh. And then, like, kind of like fall on his back with like his like do like a dead praying mantis mm, on the up. ground. Oh, then what do you do? Slock turns his attention to the leech now and goes ah and starts kind of lumbering over. <laughs> like now, it's now, now about okay. to eat the leech. Now it's like ah trick and heads back into the good. Swamp. I was worried the leech would be like gonna finish that. <laughs> <laughs> Trying so hard not Dinner to fight my nap. leech. We did Love it. That. Do I get a contact high? No, not from just biting him. No? Okay, cool. No, because well, like, the, the drugs are in his stomach right mm. now. You no, this would be a way better party drug if you could. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody start licking slug. Well, you, he did go into the bog, so he tastes really bad. Mm. Mm. I Actually, mean, I make, was, I, well, anybody get bog water in their mouth? Oh, I definitely did when I was saving her. Mm. All right. <laughs> Things mm. you don't want your DM to say? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um... We follow this path. You keep following the path. You are now you you have you have successfully detected the centipede and diffused the situation. So you will so you will Conflict follow management. the path around the next bend. Describe what it's like walking through this bog for me. It sucks. Yeah, that's it's what so I was wet. gonna say. <laughs> I gotta say, I uh, got uh, got muck in more than just my boots. Yeah, this is not a very bog champ experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I wish it were a marsh. I'm more of a slew guy myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's going to send me to my watery grave, I think, pretty soon. Oh, oh this guy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as Ravnikans, you are used to waterways being a lot more managed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so in addition to those the general like monsters bad vibes weird mushrooms growing here you know it's just unpleasant mm. as you are walking along suddenly a rotting zombie troll charges out of the swamp what? and towards the party cool. then i uh, just as suddenly as it charges out at you the ground opened up beneath it and it is swallowed up there is no evidence left but <laughs> Hold on. This is one of my top ten fears. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I did not know. <laughs> so, uh, is it like a mouth kind of sitch? Or no, like, just, or... he went into a sinkhole. Oh, then I'm fine. I thought this was like... <laughs> You know, open up. There's a devouring maw that just no, closes, just, like he, a sarlacc situation. No, it's not a sarlacc situation. He came charging out, thinking delicious dinner. Uh, he'd presumably just eaten a centipede. Uh, came out, out of oh. run at you guys, <laughs> and then straight down wait, a sinkhole. Wait, does he look like he just ate a centipede? I mean, you didn't see a lot as he was screaming oh, and falling. Why do all the centipedes <laughs> around me keep dying? We sat up to his death. We could have let him have a little nibble. <laughs> what is the centipede death count now? Uh, you're at three because you've killed. We the... killed the three kids. Oh, the, you're yeah. four the now. You killed. Red you four. killed. You killed that lady centipede's children, okay. her sons, and now you've killed uh, this guy. But that troll was probably going to eat them anyhow. 
Uh, but the troll is now one in one of those completely semi-invisible things where it just looked like just a normal ass puddle. And then after you watch for a while, a little like a little sliver of gyro weed comes up and like sort of pats the ground, make sure nothing else is there, and <laughs> back down in. Nature, you scary. <laughs> Uh, okay. We go around the hole. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It occurs to you that if this is Ravnica's natural ecosystem, it was paved over for a reason. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't preserve this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. You get up to all the way around, and you see where there's, like, some weird rectangles. They look like steps, yeah. And it look like they're actually, it's a small bridge constructed out of salvaged wood. It is next to a fairly shallow pond where the bodies of oh god six mafia victims have been <laughs> died. Do they uh do they have like cement shoes? On? Uh no, they just look like they were killed and dumped in the swamp to be dealt with. Mm. Mm. The, do, do we know any of them? They're pretty far gone. Mm. But you can tell they're mafia victims because they have, you know, the traditional mafioso kind of clothes. Like, mm. they've got, like, rotting, like, sport coats. Big mafia t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I joined I joined the uh, ungilded mafia, and all I got was this lousy t-shirt and this lousy knife in my back. <laughs> One of them has a band shirt that just says, Three Sixth District Mafia. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One's wearing a red leisure suit with an open-collar white shirt. Yeah. There's FBI style shirts with Casa Nostra on the back. Yeah, they've all been dead for a long time. And this tells you a couple of interesting things. Uh, one, that there are lots of bodies in here. Two, you've somehow found the safest path through the bog. Yeah, I, uh, I, I assume that if they haven't been eaten by anything, that this is probably a fairly stable area. Yeah. Yeah, it's, you, one would assume that. Stable. What's, uh -huh. what's above here? Above here, the sky. Oh, it's okay. open. There's nothing here. Mm. It's there's they've never built anything here. They've never drained it. There's no buildings. The buildings are beside it. There's like a row of warehouses and stuff like that. Most of which are derelict, except for after sausage and all the other derelict ones have sold out. But their land's not nearly as important to the whole scheme. There are open spaces in Ravnica, mm. but they're they're usually parks that the mm, Celestia maintain and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna look down. Oh, well, it's awful. There's six corpses. <laughs> <laughs> this sucks no matter where you yeah. are. <laughs> just, look, just keep looking forward. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Interesting. Let's cross this rickety bridge. Well, we should test this bridge ah, before we cross so this. so sensible. Mm. I mean, I'm just saying there's this bridge here. Is there like a rock or anything nearby? I'm going to say you can pick up a clump of. Sure. Some sort of underbrush. I make like a dirt ball, and I say, "What's the worst thing that could happen?" See, and he, I throw it at the the the, the bridge. One, of, one of the bridge. The, the, the bridge or the yeah. zombies? The, Sorry, br the, the bridge. bridge. Okay, make me <laughs> a tossing a ball. Right dirt down, ball. <gasps> zombie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, what if we don't? go this way actually well it doesn't matter because you're gonna feel a shudder and like some sort of weird dark energy is gonna come up and one of the zombies is gonna as the thing splats onto it one of the zombies is gonna raise out and go Aah! and come towards you you are now in initiative with uh, this zombie. Do you still have talk with zombies? Uh, I no. bite him again. <laughs> ah, this, see, this seems to excite the zombie. Everybody roll me some initiative. This is a pretty simple one. All right, I get an advantage. Let's go. 17. 17. 16. 12. Okay. 6. All right, everybody goes, and then the zombie goes, and then Avenir goes. 17. Uh, it, there's a zombie that just came up by that mud ball and is lumbering towards you guys. What do you want to do? I want to bonk it on the head All with right. my quarterstaff. Okay, with your quarterstaff, go ahead. Uh, roll me an attack roll. These are pretty... These They didn't die wearing this, arm, armor. This. They were stripped of all their Actual valuables. Die 20, and die 20, identifications. And I get a plus six. Uh, 23. 23. You definitely hit the zombie. Please roll me some damage. Great. Uh, eight. Eight? It takes eight damage, and you take off one of its arms. That's impressive. You hit it on the head, and its arm popped off. Uh, as a bonus action, I'd like to pick up its arm. 
you can do that. It's very wet and gross. Gross. Whatever skin was left on where it was left where you picked it up is now off. And mm -hmm. so you're holding like, it's like, like, you know, it's still got a bit of a sleeve, but there's something loose in there now and some bones. Mm -hmm. Okay. So gross. Uh, is it my turn? Yeah. I will, uh, I will attempt to, to shoot the zombie that Wheeler was attacking through okay, the eyes. Okay, that's, okay. Dude, roll me an attack. They have very little AC. Uh, I assume then that a 19 hits. It absolutely. Uh, six. All right. Uh, you take off one leg below the knee. <laughs> how, do these, how do these Mr. Potato Head zombies work? <laughs> they've been sitting in a they've been sitting in an acidic bog. All their joints are rotten. No, yeah. <laughs> They're just being animated by whatever foul magic is oh. around here. Uh, and then uh, Valencia will go and try and chew off one of I don't know one of their the parts. One of the other legs, maybe. Sure. Yeah. Like a Black Knight situation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We'll just make him a raisin. <laughs> uh, does an eight hit? Uh, that is the, their AC. Yes. Then yeah. So Holy she moly. gets to okay. bite him. Just barely. Uh, seven damage. Seven damage. So it was eight plus six plus seven. So eight plus six is fourteen plus seven. Right. Twenty-one. Uh, yeah, cl close enough. Ah, she shakes him apart. <laughs> All right. We got one. Nice. Uh, uh, Val Valencia, like, runs off uh, with the leg that she just ripped off. Tastes taste bad, though. Oh, probably. Yeah. Uh, it's right. like a stick. All right, well, Valencia with her stick. So basically, if you hang around here for too long, these zombies are going to slowly sort of come at you one by one. So don't linger, but if they do get up, you can... <laughs> Basically, just yeah. oh, we can just we can, can we, we just, just walk you by. You just them? walk by. You can just walk by. They're like slow movie zombies. Can I uh, Slock throws <laughs> the arm and, like to try and play fetch with, with the zombies. With the zombie, it hits a zombie in the face. <laughs> Does that stop the zombie at all, or uh, it knocks the one that was coming out of the water back into the water? Perfect. Oh, 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 oh. Make make make, make it an unarmed ranged attack. <laughs> Sorry, I would be an armed ranged attack, yeah. I guess. Yeah. 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 Uh, that was a nine. <laughs> okay. That hits. That hits. Yeah, it hits. Eight, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Great. Okay. It doesn't matter. Just if you. The, the zombies will slowly come at you and are more of a nuisance just to sort of. Yeah, if you just walks check. past them, it's like, no change, no change. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> up here. It's a nine on the die. We just walk if you high. want to kill the zombies, you can. It uh, just would take no, almost no time. 17 damage on a zombie. Uh, one of them d d goes to reach out and is just like, you just like, nope, and it just crumbles to crumbles into individual bones. Is that two? There were six? That's two down. There's six there. I don't even bother. I just walk past them. Yeah. You'll be yeah, fine. At this point. <laughs> All right. Well, you've killed two of them. Uh, all right. Then you cross. So you can. So you can either go. You can either sort of cross this bridge and use this like plank to cross this pond where these zombies are, and then continue along in this path to sort of that ending area. Or you can sort of investigate the thing that's over on the other side. You can. Do you see where you, it's very close? It's probably totally fine to walk off the path just for that little area. I don't buy that. That's bait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that's bait. We don't do that. You are very close. Mm. As you, if you, I drew it on the map. It's like I don't know. It's well, like, we can't. We can't check things out slowly. We can't throw clumps of dirt. Hey, it's time for Mage Hand. <laughs> it is actually. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. is a great opportunity yeah, hey, for Mage this Hand. Is the great, this is the use of Mage Hand. Yeah, we Mage Hand our, our way around those that area that we can't reach by foot, and anything smaller than ten pounds, we grab and take. Okay, uh, that area that you can't that you can't reach by foot opens up into a big, big, big pond. And it is unlike all the other ponds around here. You've seen not the worst looking pond. It almost, compared to the... I would not use this word normally. It almost looks inviting. In any other context, it would not be inviting. But here, water ain't that dark. Hmm. Not bubbling that menacingly. Hmm. 
Also, remember that two of you can jump further and probably just hopped over there. But... Yeah. Uh, I mean... <laughs> Do you want a sample? Kind of. mm, okay, uh, DM, I do that. You yeah. wanna, you guys gonna? Slot goes. Hey, watch this. <laughs> it's just a running jump. All right, and you're gonna jump into this other water? Well, not into the water. Well, no. It's pretty nice looking compared to some of the water mm, around here. I got flotation devices on. You got so yeah. many. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll do a. I'll do a cannonball. Miller is literally cannonballing into <laughs> box text. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You uh, fell. You fell for the oldest trick in the book. Mm, I love these new players. I don't fall for it if I want to do it intentionally. Yeah. As far as you can tell, the surround of the pond, unlike the sort of like, un sort of usual surrounding, which is just acidic muck and peat and body parts of dead people uh is this what surrounds this pond is rock oh uh and uh there it is about 80 feet deep and you can feel that there's some sort of like current coming up from it and then there's and then i don't know you've got you can see underwater really well because of all your swamp ball stuff right yeah there's something down at the bottom oh i can't like dive down not with all not no, wearing flotation <laughs> devices but you but could you remove could. them <laughs> are you are you did you here's a here's a very important question in what direction and trajectory did you jump in like are you lying flat now or are you well, he's down drowning in this pond <laughs> i jumped i like boing <laughs> like i if this was from a high height i would have broken my legs okay yeah come back up like a breaching submarine yes yeah. yeah now that you're in this water it's really not as bad as some of the other water you've is been it nice in today. hey you guys should come in here this is not that bad i mean I, you wouldn't i mean anywhere else yeah. you'd be like i'm not going in that a water pond. dog so she it she, can help you i mean if you're dirty it can help clean you off i don't get wet on the clock all right i mean you don't basically yeah there's nothing actually hazardous here yeah we're wa I, I'm, I wash off a bit i i dive in as well all right. Now are you you don't you're not wearing your thing. Do you think you can swim down about eighty feet to the bottom to get what's ever on the bottom? Oh, there? It's been a few years since I played <laughs> fountain ball, but <laughs> actually, no. It's been a few weeks. It's been a few weeks. All right. Yeah. Make me an athletics check. Anybody who wants oh. to dive to the bottom has to make an athletics check. Ooh, you think I would have taken so this? So stoked for a second, and then she said oh, athletics. Oh no. Well, what? I mean, I'm... no, no. It's a perfectly legitimate. Yes, that's yes, what you're supposed to. It is the yeah, correct yeah, check. Yeah. I just if realized can, I should have put points into it. If <laughs> you can tell me why you should use another skill for this, and you can argue convincingly, I will absolutely let you do it, but I feel that diving to the bottom of a cold, deep pond yeah. should be athletics. Yes, yep. we're agreeing with you. Uh, yeah. I roll, this is just for the viewers. Yeah. I rolled a 14. 14? Yeah. I mean, do you have any bonuses in athletics? I have plus three athletics. 13. <laughs> 13. All right. And that's a 13 with no bonuses? Yes. Okay. Unless... As a former avid uh, fountain ball player, <laughs> okay. you, you you would let me use my proficiency bonus for this? Hmm. Uh, yes, but you have to describe a fountain ball play that okay. reminded you of this time. I have no idea what a sports play <laughs> sounds like. <laughs> this <laughs> rules. <laughs> Cameron. Okay. Let's go. The people in the seats near the front are very impressed as Avenir sports really hard. <laughs> The sporting that he did was so good, in fact, that the other team also thought it was very good. And they all stood around and clapped. And when the teachers made everyone handshake afterwards, nobody spat in their hand before shaking Avenir's hand. That's how good he sportsed. Wow. And then I got hit in the chest with a lacrosse ball <laughs> that the grade 12s threw at me. I feel like this is where really... <laughs> Painting a vivid and accurate picture of uh, someone's life and backstory. It might not be Avenir's. Uh, okay. I don't sure. know if you can tell this about me, but I haven't been in a gym since grade 10. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, but we'll say that Avenir has some sports ball equivalent and just remembers a time that he did a really magnificent dive and it was deep and it was, he had to be underwater for a long time, uh, but he got the ball and he got it away from his zone and into the enemy zone and it was worth it even though it was a scary play. Yeah. Um, Slock just thinks <laughs> yeah, about exactly. swamp ball and 
So I'm going to say that's probably fine. There's nothing hiding or hazardous in the water and it's fairly clear. So you're both able to swim down to the bottom and see what and find uh, what is a waterlogged and rapidly disintegrating, but not yet disintegrated copy of the Omen Hiker's Guide to the Multiverse. We pick it up. Yeah. And then we pocket it while you're underwater. Uh, both of you make me a perception check. Before you swim back to the surface. Uh, 11. 11. Um, 16. 16. Avenir, there seems to be some sort of current coming out of the wall, but as far as you can tell, it's a solid rock wall. We'll look into that when I get back up to okay. have a breath of air. <laughs> I'll, I'll come back with more air. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you come back up. You get, and you're, you get, but once you get to the surface, the copy of the Omen Hiker's Guide to the Multiverse, because it is a printed page, a printed book is just like, and like, right. you're not going to get the paper, the pages apart now. Maybe you could de dry it out and stuff like that. Okay. Huh. It appears to be the latest edition. Huh. How late is the latest edition? Uh, 79. Okay. Hmm. Wait, what year is it? 79. 79. 79. Oh, okay. God, if there was this one, one from 78, <laughs> that would be a hell of a thing. Uh, okay, cool. I mean, was was it printed here, can we tell? Does it look like a Ravnican book? I mean, it kind of looks like the other pages and stuff you've seen. This is the most complete copy of a guide you've had. And too, too bad it happens to be mostly destroyed and waterlogged. Uh, but it does seem to be similar to all of the other pages. Uh, that you have recovered thus far. And as you recall, that your boss said that they had traced the paper to somewhere in the 6th District. Yeah. Hmm. Do we remember the pages that we have? Then I can tell you right now, there's hundreds of pages in this thing. It's a thick book and it's not relevant which pages you have. It's more relevant okay. that you have it. No, okay, but own. this is not... The pages we had weren't torn from this. That's book. my question. No, this no. is a this is a this if it had not been somehow dropped in the swamp would be a pristine copy. Okay. Oh. Okay. Cool. Oh. See anything down there? I said, no, Nox actually just like in his like swimming. <laughs> he, he always just has like swimming trunks and is like on the side of the rocks. Uh, Avenir swims up like he's going to the bar and he just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why'd you bring a book into the water? Have we met? Um, <laughs> <laughs> this was down there. Huh. It's ruined. But Yeet. I think we can probably try to dry it out. And maybe next session we'll be able to read it. Yeah. Next what? I don't Credits know. <laughs> I'm, I'm on mushrooms. <laughs> you know, that's fair. As the only non-high person here. I perceive that we're in a game. Uh, yeah. If we dry it out, maybe we can uh, figure it out. Anything else down there? Um... It feels like there's a current coming out of the water, or out of the wall. Huh. Did you, like, touch the wall, or...? Let me go down and look. You look, and it seems to be a very solid wall. Hmm. But there's, like, water coming out of it? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Explicitly, did you touch it? Yeah, it feels like a wall. This place is weird, man. Can I, like, detect magic? that wall you you cast detect magic and this whole place lights up and you go ah so bright <laughs> <laughs> it's just like you just and then everything is sparkling all around you the ground the water whatever bird is watching you from that tree over there that you hadn't previously noticed before <laughs> the magic <laughs> it's gathering <laughs> there's so much i should have known better <laughs> Well, and it just keeps coming. Yeah. <laughs> so many. with no time to even wait, and you'll catch your breath. <laughs> when you put it in the ground, it just keeps coming back up again and again. Yeah. Well, all right. We found a book and a magic wall. I block. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I guess we should go back and try that other direction. Does it feel like you can break the wall? No. Like break through the wall? No. no. I don't know. It appears Does it? It appears to be a <laughs> even though it doesn't Come on, make Paul, that was your cue. <laughs> 
Even though it doesn't make any logical sense, it appears to be a solid rock wall with a current coming out of it. Okay. Huh. Just okay. like somehow there's always more water. Uh, Slock gets out of the water, stands on the bank, hands on hip. Well, not hands on hips. <laughs> Still like this, I guess. It kind of <laughs> goes, I wonder if we'll ever figure out. <laughs> What's up with that wall? Kind of just looks off into the distance. So you can sort of see that you sort of shortcutted by eating some mushrooms. You sort of shortcutted several other encounters, which were sure yeah. to be unpleasant. But there is one little like dog leg that you probably want to finish off. Yeah, let's. Yeah, sure. well, once his dog leg. We need to hundred percent this. I mean, this is more like an eighty percent. Any any complete? Oh, sure. Okay, great. You know what? You're yeah, not doing all the options. Wall and, yeah. <laughs> yeah, still goes on the board. Take yeah, me yeah. to the dog leg. Throw me in the water. I clip into the wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then restart the game, yeah. and I'm now on the other side. I of take the off wall. my chest plate, drop yeah. it, yeah. Equip, re-equip it. Somebody backstabs me yeah. when I'm close to the wall, and they kick me through it. I use the premium emote. <laughs> All right, none of this has any game effect, but it is pleasurable, I'm sure. All right, <laughs> you move along the path, and you kind of come to a clearing, and you realize you're at the edge of the bog. You've made it! You've made it to the edge of the bog! All right, so what you see here is this is a patch of ground that's a little less squishy than all the other patches, which is understandable, because it is next to this fabled build, good building ground, the after sausage warehouse, or at least one portion of the edge of it. You don't exactly know where you are along the length of it, but you've somehow sort of wound your way through the bog and come to the perimeter. Mm. So you you understand that this is the perimeter because there is a very old rusty chain link fence that looks like somebody put it up of like a hundred years ago and it is bad shape but on top of that chain link fence is a bunch of really sharp looking but rusty spikes designed to keep whatever is living in here not coming in there the after sausage building is basically built all the way to the edge of the lot as pretty much everything is here and it is three stories straight up of corrugated iron that it would be completely unclimbable for anyone essentially mm. like you could do some sort of demir ground grappling hook thing but like a normal person could not climb a sheer moist corrugated iron wall uh if you look at the top of the wall you can see remember you came in last time you sort of looked up at the top and you saw that there's barred windows at the top you can see some of those barred windows and you can see that there's a window in there that is broken and one of the bars has fallen out would you like to make any other investigation checks i would love to always uh, nat 20. Nat 20. 20. 20. 10. 10. I didn't feel I needed to roll with oh. that result. That's... <laughs> That's a... And you did it. <laughs> yep. You did it, buddy. Right. What'd you get there? A 20? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the one with the... Uh, that, that's the one with the two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So, you look around, and this is not a very interesting clearing all things considered it just happens to be less unpleasant than some of the other places don't look in the bushes there's probably more mafia victims back here uh but avenir you find some mushrooms that look similar to the ones that enor is growing but they are taller and spindlier and these are glowing faintly which enor's mushrooms have thus far mm. not done i call enor's attention to this Enor, make me a d uh, looking at mushrooms check. Please, God, do not eat these ones, too. Well, I have instructions for what happens when you eat them. <laughs> it's, a t it's a two. It's a two. What is... Are you okay? <laughs> Seven. Uh, these kind of look like Scarlet I'm, Zoom caps. I'm going to bring... I'm going to pick a couple of them. That's a great idea. To bring back. That's a great idea. Compare. Would anybody like to eat any of them? Yes. Okay. How many do you want to eat? Mm. Guy my size? Two. Okay. That was not a microdose, my friend. In addition to the other effects, you can now see smells. <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> Remember how he got blinded a second ago? Yeah, I was going to say. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> This bog looks incredible. There is just right, bright red coming out everywhere, man. Hmm. Just, it's How's it going, Slock? I have seen what the eternities have to offer. <laughs> All right. 
And I want seconds. Do you want to take any of these? I'll take a third mushroom. Now? <laughs> <We're free. laughs> uh, you went for later. I'll pocket two. I'll yeah. pocket okay, two. You do not, you do <laughs> okay. not want to taste time. Yeah, okay. You're, gonna, you're, you're having a great time. You can see <laughs> colors, uh, you know, because of <clears throat> all of the other effects of mm -hmm. the other drugs that you're on. I did stat out what happened if somebody had taken every mushroom mm. available. Uh, we didn't and, 100 it. Yeah, I know. Uh, Is there a chance? To, where do we have the third mushroom? No, no that that's... was back at Enor's house. Right. Mm. Mm. That's okay. So they are different. It was. It, you were going to get a lot of penalties because on account of how stoned you were going to be. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Anyhow, you discover all of that. That's very fun. Okay. Let's get to that nat twenty. Do you remember that black dust you yes. found by the door? Mm -hmm. There is a little bit of it here. Hmm. You go to pick it up and it crumbles into nothingness. Hmm. Isn't that what happened on the last one, too? Yeah. No, oh, I might have been more careful this time. That would have been smart I mean, me. no matter how carefully you try to pick this up, it crumbles. Huh. You, and you didn't, you, most of it crumbled last time, but you sent a sample back to yeah. the agency, and they said that it, they had no clue what it was. What? Right, they were going to get back to us. On yes. It. Did it have a scent to it? No, it didn't smell like anything. Well, did it? Maybe did it have it something that I could see? We'll say maybe some little wisps of teal came off it. Wisps Ooh. of teal, but very faint. I think that's cardamom. In <laughs> almost imperceptible. Okay, wisps. It's a manifest creature. Of teal. Get it. <laughs> you can't. It's got ward. <laughs> They're You're called cloak the now. <laughs> That's mm. all you can find here. But you mm. can see that there you found lots of interesting information. Yeah. And the ground yeah. shakes. Mm. Uh oh. Uh oh. What did we learn? I don't I don't know if, what information did we get? Uh that this place has an extremely bad, possibly interplanar vibe. Yeah, okay. And, and the kids are all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Safety first. As you leave that weird pond. There's, you know how you're like, oh, there's a current here? Mm -hmm. You can see that current, but it's different. It's not red like all the other smells, and it's not even a smell you're seeing. You're just seeing something like purple, man. Purple. Purple. <laughs> I mean, you are not going to remember what that <laughs> means no, next to me. No, trust me. I have a process. You can watch the pod. Yeah. yeah. I have a note writing process. I mean... I would like to bring that to monic shot, time permitting. Oh, the dust? No, the the wall. The it wall has a current coming out of it. Sure. Yeah. 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 You can definitely tell him about it. Okay. DM, I do that. All right. Okay. Let's head back. Yeah. Yes. All right. You head back, and now do slam you... a zombie out of the way. Slam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kick some zombies. Uh, uh, let me switch yeah. them out Make of the sure way. Kick kicks. Yep. Fifteen. All right. <laughs> Are you just mind spiking them as you walk? Oh by? no, no, no! I found out that I, that my mate firebolts, uh, my cantrip gets oh, another yeah. D ten when I hit level five. Oh, Jeez. that spell rules. Two yeah. D ten, damn. Yeah, wizards are powerful at level five. And I think it also encourages you not to just take all combat spells. Mm. Nope. Cool. All right. Speaking of combat spells, as you are leaving, <laughs> just as you were about to get out of the stupid swamp. Uh. Another earthquake happens, and then several have happened while you're in here, mm -hmm. and they're usually pretty minor. And like mm -hmm. you know, Abrasax is like, oh, things come out, things come out, but like nothing's actually come out aside from all the other things that have attacked you. And they didn't need an earthquake to do that. So you know, you're about as aware as you normally would be. Uh, and then so the the, bra the ground shakes, and a rotten branch falls off a dead tree and onto a large pile of roots and bracken, causing it to startle. And it rises up completely, and it goes because it's a big shambling mound. Ooh. Roll initiative. Yeah. Hey, that's better. Twenty. Twenty as well. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Fourteen. Fourteen. All right. Well, let's see. So we've got 21, 20, 14? 20. 20, okay. Uh, Nog, you go first. Uh, I have a question. Uh, is it like particularly boggy and swampy? It's a pretty swampy mound. Are swampy mounds extremely flammable? No, in fact, this has, uh, out of character, it has damage resistance to fire. Huh, all right. I shoot it. 
<laughs> you shoot it. All right. It's moist. It's so yeah, it's, moist. It's a, it's a plant. It's very appropriate. Oh, that is. You're infecting me. I assume a 10 does not hit? Uh, no. Okay. Your bullets bounce harmlessly off it. Describe what happens. Uh, I shoot. I, I, I go, gross. And, and I, I shoot a, a bolt at it uh, that uh, just flies wide because I'm just a little bit too surprised by uh, by the by the mound approaching but uh, Valencia's doing okay no she's not uh, <laughs> because she rolled a seven uh, so we're both just like horrified by this shambling mound because it is basically my fear is that a giant mouth sort of came out of the ground and um, yeah, it's horrible yeah I'm, I'm horrified by it okay Mouths hey screw that it's awful my fear is that everyone's mad at me yeah <laughs> A, a, a well, ground mouth can do that. This too. thing's pretty yeah. mad because it got bonked on the head and then it got it got woken up and then it saw something tasty. So now it's after all y'all. The mound is pissed at you, and it did say that it was in fact all your fault. Thank God, <laughs> we found it, everyone. <laughs> Avenir kills this thing and then lives carefree for the rest of his days. <laughs> Speaking of which, do you want to go ahead? Not my round. Um, it's, it's Wheeler's turn. So I S- Slock took some stuff. Uh, in addition to the Simic healing charges, took two of whatever the is it mm-hmm. thing was. The big rectangles missiles? are. Yeah. What are those? Or the, the you don't know what they do. Cans of magic missile. There's yeah, can- and I took two cans of magic you, missiles. If you want to just use a can of magic missile on this thing, you are absolutely allowed to. Uh, DM, I do that. All right. So it's three magic missiles, which is one d four plus one force damage for each. So roll me. Three magic missiles. Roll me a d4 four times and add one. Okay. It is not resistant to force damage. Uh, two. Two. Three. One. So nine total? Nine total. Okay. Plus one for each? Yeah, for each. Oh, for each. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, that was plus four, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Thirteen. Thirteen. Great. All right, you deal 13 damage to it, and it uh, does not appear to have any significant effect on it. Gross. Okay. Cool. Uh, Avenir. If this is the thing that's mad at Avenir, he's going to magic missile it. <laughs> okay, you're just we're opening just, up your can. Just ah! <laughs> yes. Good start. Two. Mm. Uh, hey. uh, eight. Um, plus four? Twelve. 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 All okay. right. Hey, that's looking... You guys are making some difference. You've done 25 <laughs> points of damage to it. Yeah. I'm doing my part. That's some of its hit points. Oh. All right. Uh, Enor. Mind spike. Does All it right. have a mind to, to spike? I think you could use it on anything, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. No, I'm yep. just curious. <laughs> it, I, I mean, mean, it's got an... It's got an in score of five, so it's not the stupidest thing you've fought today, but it's not one of your more intelligent enemies. It's so. not the leech, but you know. Yeah. You can save against 16. Oh, I rolled a 16, but I have to take three, so that's 13. Okay, great. How much damage do I take? Uh, let's see here. Four, that's four. 11. 17. 23. 23, that's excellent. That's as, almost as much damage as the two of those did together. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> All right, looking good. Uh, whose turn is it now? It's the mound's turn. The mound is truly horrific. Who had one of those squares? Me. You too? Yeah. All right, but I, the mound doesn't really care. It's not that intelligent, so I'm just going to roll a dice to see who I attack. Good. Well, this is the commander thing. <laughs> yeah. Remember, it's not me. It's the Sheldon dice. Sheldon wouldn't have wanted this. <laughs> Okay. That man said you attack with Ooh. purpose. <laughs> Ooh, hoo, hoo. Uh, Avenir, what is your DC? What's your my, my AC is sixteen. AC? AC, but are you wearing your safety helmet? Yes. Everybody who wear, is wearing a hard hat gets to add plus one to their AC. Let's go. Seventeen. Just hard hat, <laughs> Just hard hat yes. on your head. Yes. I got six of them. I think some of those have fallen off. Well, I layered them with, like, swamp grease, so it was like okay. laying bricks. Okay, all right, fine. You have six AC plus, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> all right, Avenir. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm going to make two... I'm making, oh, two attacks on you. All Hi. right. Uh, that's very exciting. 
Can you make me a uh, a uh, an escape roll, please? A dexterity it is, it is save. It is tempting to grapple you. Let's say a dexterity save. Yeah, I think so. Athletics. Sixteen. Sixteen. You are safe. You managed to get away from it. Just like playing fountain ball. <laughs> yes, it kind of it tries to grapple at you so and I just read. misses. So, good. Uh, so what is? But it is going to. It did connect with you, but it just didn't grapple. You were able okay. to get out of the way, and it hit you on one of its attacks. So, oof, that is really terrific damage that I get to roll. <laughs> oh, not like that. I don't. Ah. All right, I deal seven damage to you by taking a swipe at you. But I, I don't use, grapple you. I use my reaction to have damage. Okay. So I'll take four. Ooh, nice. rogues are so cool. All right, Nog, go ahead. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, uh, walk up to it, and I'm going to get kind of close to it and shoot it because I am a close quarters shooter. Okay. Um, surely I can't mess this up with a plus nine to hit. No, good. Okay. Uh, so 24. Oh, that's definitely a hit. Roll yeah. me some damage. Roll in some damage. Oh, I also have advantage. But... <laughs> that's for the ones when. Okay. Uh, five. It's every little bit counts. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, Valencia goes in and tries to take a chomp out of him. Wow. Uh, yeah, 21. Yep, that's a hit. Uh, whoo, nice. Uh, 13. Ooh, excellent. Chompy, chompy. All right, it is looking like you've hit it a couple of times. Let us out of here. <laughs> I hate this thing. <laughs> it attacks you. Uh, well, it doesn't actually attack you. It's not its turn. Slock, it's your turn. You have six hard hats. I want to use Erupting Earth. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Mm-hmm. Um, nat 20. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Next damage. Ooh. Next damage. Can you describe what happens when you do the erupting earth as well? Like, how does this erupting earth, earth look as it as it hits this mound? I'll show you, uh, Slockos, I'll show you why they call me the round mound of Swamp Ball Rebound. Oh. Just kind of, st- like, slams the hands on the ground and then, yeah, almost like a tidal wave of mound kind of comes back and... <laughs> crashes over Come on, it's <laughs> hey, right. welcome to the so, day <laughs> i'm going to i have to make a dexterity saving throw against yeah. this so i'm gonna do that i'm not very dexterous because i'm a huge plant uh i don't make it Ooh. so that means that you get to roll 3 d12 <laughs> bludgeoning damage that's an eight that's a 17 nine. 26. 26. Nice. But you critted, so that means you get to roll double the damage dice. So keep rolling. So we're at 26. What's this new dice? Eight. Eight. Okay, thank you. Four. Okay, so that's 12. Five. Five. So another 17. Well, that's handy. Uh, oh, God, this thing it looks terrible now. You just absolutely destroyed it, Slock. It's Come just... on and slam. Slock. It sort the, of digs itself out and is like, Wah! For the last hit, Slock kind of does the jump 20 extra feet in the air <laughs> and just goes, boom, shakalaka. <laughs> Slant. <laughs> the man. Nog and Valencia have like little headphones. He's heating up. <laughs> I thought we said no jiggly puff. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, Avenir, it's your turn. Um, Avenir will try to, God, he will try to climb onto it. Okay. It's a giant plant. It's He's, a giant plant. Uh, uh, I'm going to take a... Can I take a swipe at you if you're trying to climb it? Uh, you're climbing the monster? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I wouldn't say that you're in an attack of opportunity. That's that's just you climbing the monster. Yeah, yeah maybe yeah. your back is turned, or maybe its back is turned to you. I don't know. I just feel like this would yeah. anger the monster somehow. I mean... It did, it did just get knocked down by a bunch of dirt. Yeah, if it's been knocked down, then Avenir is going to try to, like... Get up close and personal. Gonna mount it. Come up from behind. Is it mount standing the up? mound. Yeah. You um, mound it. All right. Just because, like, otherwise he's gonna have a real hard time getting yeah. close. Um, and then I would like to roll insightful fighting. Okay. So I roll insight versus deception. Okay. So my insight is plus five. I roll a seventeen. You can roll deception. All right. 
which is a charisma based skill. <laughs> well, I don't. I roll a lot less than that because my charisma is five. Could you imagine okay. if it had like a twenty charisma? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just this, it's just sparkly. The mound with riz. It's a really yeah. nice mound. Yeah. <laughs> nice mound. Uh, <laughs> big natural mound. I rolled a hit. Okay. Um, tw- 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 twenty-five. Yes, that's definitely going to hit it. Okay, I roll a die eight plus three d six. Sneak attack, baby. Um, eleven fourteen or fourteen plus four is eighteen. Eighteen. All right. Uh, it is very close to being dead. Mm. As like it's got like a whisper of hit points left, but unlike a zombie, I'm not gonna be like eh, close enough. Uh, mm. You're gonna somebody's Ave- gonna have to finish it off because it's Enor's turn. Avenir, <laughs> Avenir was a student. He went tree planting. He just like plants the sword. <laughs> Duke. Enor steps to the mic and he says what he likes. Mind spike. This is all diegetic, by the way. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Emphasis on the die. The wise man. 16. Ooh. That well, hits. half damage? Yeah, half damage. You're That's right. That's fine. That'll be enough to kill it. Yep. Seven and two. That's nine total. All right. It it goes down. It is unhappy. Uh, but uh, <laughs> About death. <laughs> about everything. I'm sure it will return some other time. And it doesn't even grapple anyone successfully. So none of your is it safety devices go off. Mm. No, it's just like st- Stamping on it like, get back at the ground. <laughs> Become flat. That is the, that, and once you have cleared that, you are able to hustle out of the bog. <sighs> well, I can't believe you told us to go in there, Avenir. I can. <laughs> Did you get that water sample you wanted? From the... Say, say yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just squeeze it out of your robes. Yeah, 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 Absolutely. Yeah, okay, yeah. great. Yeah. Great. Cool. Should we yeah, go from, talk? Yeah, for, from the wall. Mm. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Is this the way we're supposed to bring to the pump guy then, do you think? Well, yeah. he didn't specifically, he just said, if you see anything interesting, let me know. He didn't specifically mm-hmm. ask for anything. Um, Actually, I'll decant half of it into another bottle mm-hmm. to save for the agency. Mm-hmm. Oh, good call. Good call. I mean, you can give it to Jeffrey right now if you want. Sure. Cool. <laughs> Reboot. All right. So you go and you, you talk to Monic Shot or Abrasax? Monic Shot, please. My, he's much more pleasant, isn't he? All right. And he's going to come up to you and he's there going is. to say, My friends, you're back. How was the bog? I've always wanted to go. It was not very bog jam. <laughs> he looks at you and looks at, like, literally everybody. Looks like they've fallen in the water except you. You two have purple fingers. Do you? Are you still blown up like a starfish? Yeah, <laughs> all your safety equipment has been set off. I, uh, I barf up a chunk of plant monster. <laughs> oh, seems like it was educational. What did you find in there? A wall that a current was coming out of, improbably. That, that seems improbable. I agree, which is why we thought you might want to know about it. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Do you have any samples of the water or anything that's had this mysterious current? Oh, this looks clean. I know. I thought it was unusual. You should go have that analyzed in a magically clean environment. Mm. Oh, excellent. I will. All right. Anything else you need from me? Uh, do we have to fill out like a worker's comp form for this? or anything Oh, no, like you that? don't work for the Is It League. You don't get anything. Oh. <laughs> Did you have any zombies working there for you? No, we don't employ zombies. Hmm. Hmm. Well, this was an educational journey for all of us. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Okay. I think that was everything we had. Yeah, unless yeah. uh unless do are you missing a copy of Omen Hiker's Guide to the Omen Paths? No. Okay. Great. Not his book. Hmm. All right. Well, you may have discovered a few things about what is going on with the bog and the creatures that live within it, but I don't know. Or do you feel any closer to your end goal of finding out why Herobium no. was killed? No. I mean, uh, I think we're closing no. off ways he wasn't killed. Yeah. Sorry, uh, we, we, I have ideas, but nothing concrete. Nothing I to see. prove. Nothing that would hold up in court. No. Mm-hmm. 
Well, in that case, we'll just have to come back next time for another episode of By Law and Order. Bye, everybody.